Mighty God this morning. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Cause I wanna see you. See you high and lifted up. And shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your spirit on us. As we sing, holy, 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 I wanna see you, and holy, 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 I wanna see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. I want to see you. See you high and lifting up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your spirit of us. As we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you. Hallelujah this morning, and I want to know you. I want to love you. Mighty God this morning, open the eyes of your people this morning. Open our eyes, you know. Our eyes have been closed for so long. Open the eyes of us, Father, this morning. Open the eyes of us. We can see. We want to see you. You know, we want to get to see you. Lord God, when we get to see you, we get to know you. We get to know more about you. And every single thing this morning, Father God, open the eyes of your people this morning. Open up our eyes. Some of your eyes too blind, man. We ain't seeing nothing. Open up the eyes of your people this morning. Open up our eyes this morning, Father. In the word of name, but in the name of Jesus. Come on. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Mm. Open the eyes of my heart. And I can get to see you, Lord. Mm. And I can get to see you. And I can get to receive you. And I can get to feel you. And I can get to know you. And I can get to see you. And I can get to know you. I can get to see you. And I can get to know you. And I can get to see you. And I can get to know you. And I can get to see you. And I can get to know you, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord. Open the eyes of your people, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. I don't know where I come from this morning. You know, I was getting ready to come. <laughs> this God we serve is a magical God. This God we serve is amazing God. He, he still proves himself every day that he's still the boss. He's still the boss in our lives. He's still the boss. He's still the boss. He's still proving himself every season, every day, every hour, and every moment. He's still proving himself. I am going to tell you that God is still proving himself every single day in our lives. He's still God. He's still the boss. He's still large and he's still in charge. He's still in control. Every time we look to him, every time we call on him, you know, <laughs> Was looking for something earlier, and I was like, <laughs> "We go through the bed. I go through, and I looked and looked and looked, and I said, "My goodness, where this? I know it's in this area. I know left it in this area, and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. I know left it in this area. Mm -mm. I'm looking and looking. They look, I look. I said, "Okay, that's it. And so Holy Ghost coming now. Oh, come on, Holy Ghost now. Come reveal unto me this thing. As soon as I go back in the same thing, I'm looking." As soon as I said, Holy Ghost, reveal it now. And I go right back. I pull back the same container. Go back. Bottom it fall out. <laughs> this God we serve is still the same magical God. He's still the same amazing God. He's still the same beautiful God. He's still, man, he is bad. He is bad. He is bad. 
He is still beautiful. He is still good. He is still the eyes. He is still our ears. He still looked out. He still he come on this morning. You know, a lot of times, you know, why we don't win? Because we don't call on him, you know, come on. We don't call on him the way we're supposed to call on him, you know. So, let you me know, say something. As I grow in the Lord and I get to know him, and I'm discovering him more and more, you know, it's, you might say that I'm needy to him, but let me tell you something. I only get good, come through good with him, man. I only just get through good with him, feel things, you know, come on, and the work become lighter. It become easier and even quicker. Lighter, easier, and even quicker. The work become, whenever you call on him, I just say like, Holy Ghost, come on, man. Reveal this thing, man. I got to get up. I got to go. Come on. It's like I got to move now. I ain't got this time over. It's, come on. I ain't me, me playing these games. Come on. Holy Ghost, come on. I ain't even entertain the devil. Me rebuking devil. Me got time to rebuke devil and Satan get the No, no, no. I don't waste time to rebuke Satan. I don't waste time to say devil get the ends. No. All of the stuff, Holy Ghost, reveal unto me. So some of them, guess what? We take up too much of energy. Wasting time with Satan before we put the put the Holy Ghost to work. Mm -hmm. hey, just learn something that coming this morning. We wasting time. Satan in the name of Jesus, get out, get out. That come against your plan. Nope, I didn't do it. All I did say, Holy Ghost, reveal unto me now where this thing is because time is going. I gotta go. Come on. Holy Ghost, where is this thing now? Reveal unto me where it at now. And that was it. Come on. There was no rebuking. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, guess what? We wasting time rebuking Satan. We wasting time yelling out when he be wasting time before we put the Holy Ghost to work. You take that one this morning, somebody. Come on. You take that one. We wasting too much of time. Come on. We wasting day. And in the name of Jesus, rebuking Satan, telling him this and telling him, come on. We wasting too much of time time doing that murmuring complaining with the devil come on this morning when we got power we can call things come on we can call things i was reading this morning with the two blind men there in the book of matthew there i think it's 20 29 somewhere around there where they um they know exactly what they want people were trying to rebuke them come on shut your mouth shut your mouth <laughs> just so we are want what exactly I want? We want to see. They just get to the just get to the bottom of it. We want to see. The man that was sitting at the at the, at the pool there for thirty eight years, when he asked him, "Come on, do you want?" He asked him, "You don't want Gabriel?" Oh, it's a long story. Come on, people have got them and tell something. <laughs> just time to be work smart. Come on, time when we do work smart. Come, on. we got Holy Ghost with me. You know, coming this morning, we got the presence of God. We got God. We can call things into being. We can make it happen. Come on, yes, we got power. We got authority. We can call it into being. Come on, we can address it. Come on, give him. And they're looking for this thing, you know, searching, and I'm busy searching, looking, looking. You know, like I said, Holy Ghost, reveal this thing unto me now. I pulled the back, the same back was going through, wrong and wrong and tongue. Let people see the place all over this, that, that, up the, that I went down the aisle. And I, I said, I know I left it in this, this bag here. There's books in the bag. I know I left this envelope in this bag. Where this thing could be? I know I left it in there. I keep telling them, I do wrong and wrong and wrong. I just pull back the same bag, go back in the bag. And I said, Holy Ghost, my time going. I got to go do the work of God this morning. Holy Ghost, reveal unto me now. I go back into the bag. The first book I pull up. But the thing fall right out. The envelope fall right out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, guess what? We are wasting time. Mm -hmm. We are wasting time with Satan. We are wasting time wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong. Wrong and wrong rebuking him before we put the Holy Ghost to work. Mm -hmm. But before we put the Holy Ghost in we to work, before we step out and put the Holy Ghost and exercise the power on the tower, we are rebuking him and rebuking him and rebuking him and rebuking him. And that's what Satan gets into. Satan said, everything they're blaming me for. Everything. He complaining to us some we come this morning. Yeah. We wasting days and we wasting seasons. Come on. Let me start fighting. Everything is not a fight with Satan. You know, we got to understand people have got to say, they don't have control for everything. He, he, may, he, he might be here and there because no sorry, but he don't have full power. Come on. We got the power. Come on, we got the power and we get the authority. 
We get the power and we get the authority. So a lot of times, you know, Sharon Jacob will be saying, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We don't need to get in on with him, come on. We don't need to go and be back and forward with Satan. We don't need to be having a conversation with the devil. We don't need to be tearing down anything. But guess what? We need to put the Holy Ghost, come on. If the Holy Ghost want him dead, he can dead. Come on this morning. <laughs> Anybody remember when Jesus said, make mention of the same thing? He said, um, when um, Peter had a problem with it. He said, if I want he can be here. Come on. If there are some things, literally people of God, and I'm learning as I grow long, I am learning that there are some things that God is going to permit. There are some things that God is going to allow. You tell, you tell the devil, you can do all you want with Job, but you cannot kill Job. You don't have the authority to take Job's life. Come on this morning. So there are some things literally going to happen, Satan going to show up in some places, Satan going to show up in some people, in some things and things like that, Satan is going to show up. Mm -hmm. But are we going to continue every single day we get to be fighting with Satan? Are we going to continue every single day to fight with Satan? Be fighting with him back and forward and he fight him back and he tiring we out. You know we tiring out ourselves as believers, some of us. We are tiring out ourselves every single day. We can command our day. We thank you God for the successful day. Thank you God for the covering. Thank you God for the protecting. Thank you. You already thank God already. And guess what? You already thank him. You put him to work for work for us. Mm -hmm. We thank him to keep us. We thank him to keep our children. We thank him to provide so why you gonna worry and come on why you gonna worry and say that come on did he inform listen to this one somebody did God tell you that um, I do it already, but Satan block it? If God didn't tell you that, come and tell you something. Don't waste time with Satan coming this morning. We got to know when to rebuke and we got to know when to exercise our authority. We got to know when to call things into being. Look at this one, somebody here this morning. Good morning, people of God. Good morning, good morning. Look at this one here. Anybody remember with Daniel? With, um, Daniel, but Daniel prayed to me, and he prayed and he fasted. And, oh, yeah. He prayed and he fasted and he asked the Lord for something and God gave it to him. And guess what? We said, the greatest thing that's a long man. I know that exactly I asked him for the whatever it is, silver, gold, diamond, the wife, whatever. So we just think that God tell Daniel, God inform Daniel that I drop it already, but Satan holding it up. Mm -hmm. Satan holding it up. And if you doesn't sense, some people guess what? If he doesn't sense, you just know when the devil is in play. If you don't just keep going because sometimes the devil plays, come on, the devil sit down there laughing and he got nothing to do with it. Because he have no power over there, he have no authority over there, there's not a place, come on. And we sit down wearing out ourselves, we sit down tiring out ourselves, we sit down losing our minds, we sit down getting frustrated, we sit down getting angry. And getting bitter come on this morning and fretting and sitting as they're laughing because he have no authority over there. He has no power over there. You got the power. You got the authority. You are large and you are in charge. Come on. All I simply said, and said this is this is this is this is interesting. I have to simply said, Holy Ghost, reveal unto me. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, reveal unto me, and immediately it revealed. I didn't say Satan, get the Hence, Satan lose this and Satan come on. So right there, then this growth right there, you know, knowledge is coming, come on. And you know what? When we start exercising, when we start exercising, come on. Me see me this morning, I exercise that and now I discover that guess what? Now everything you're rebuking. Now everything is Satan come on this morning. Now everything is Satan, come on. You know, sometimes we go and pick the fight with Satan, right? <laughs> we go and pick fight with Satan. He's waiting for him to pick the fight. Man, I'm telling come on. But he start carrying on, carrying on. I'm telling we go and pick fight with him, you know, come on this morning. He that go go off any kind of, we go and pick a fight. We can't be saying, Satan, we rebuke you. Satan, we tell him, yeah, he come on. We go and pick fight with him, come on. That we are not to pick no fight. Come on, you know, some people like to start some things and they can't finish it, come on this morning. Yeah, let us in this season, come on people of God. Let us start using what we have. That authority come and calling things into being. Don't you know you have power to call things into being? Yeah, we have the power to call it into being. Why every time it's Satan? Why every time it's Satan? Listen to we have the power to call it into being. We have the power to speak to it. We have this power. There's power in you and there's power in me. Come on this morning. 
Yeah, there's power in you, come on, the power in me. You go into the bank, Lord, I thank you today for a successful transaction, come on. I thank you already, thank God, come on, just walk in and stop wasting time with the devil, come on. Wasting time, come on, wasting season, wasting day, we crying out and hollering and screaming and shouting, we fasting, we hollering and screaming and going on a crazy bunch of people and Satan have no authority over that. Satan have no authority over your things. Satan have no authority over the things that concern you. You are the one have the authority coming this morning. You are the one have the power. You are the one have the authority. You are the one have the power and the authority because God has given us the power and God has given us the authority. Holy Ghost, reveal unto me. Come on, be, you know what we're doing? Come on. We are picking fight with Satan and not using what we have inside of us. We are making confusion with the devil. Come on, this morning that we ought not to be making confusion with. And guess what? We ain't doing nothing with the Holy Ghost. We got the Holy Ghost sit down. Just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Wait, he said, I will send unto you. I will give unto you. I am leaving, but I am going to give to you, I am going to give to you the Holy Ghost, the teacher that will reveal unto you all things, not some things, but all things, all things, all things, people of God. Let me tell you something. You don't even know you're powerful, you know, coming this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You don't even know how much power you got. Come on. You don't even know how powerful you are. You don't know you're a powerful man and you're a powerful woman. Mm -hmm. You are powerful. And let me tell you something. If a lot of you understand the kind of power that we got, we're not going to do the stupidness we're doing. Come on this morning. We're not going to run the wrong. Come on. Run the wrong head. Run the wrong head. That's what's always said. I think people have got a lot of times when we think that we need deliverance, we don't need no deliverance. We need no deliverance. Like Sunday, the message Sunday, there's a powerful message. I don't know how much people get to listen. Come on. The enemy play with the thought. Your thought. Your thought. Once you get a thought, you start messing with the message with the Come on this morning. The enemy play that. Come on. Let them all oh, need deliverance. Come, you, you could just command coming this morning. You know how much of us guess what in hold up places and hold up season and we said the devil holding up the devil ain't holding nothing up, nothing up. When Jesus, brothers and sisters, when Jesus was entering a city, a town, or a nation or something like that, they wanted him to say that he didn't have the money, didn't have the tax or whatever this. We didn't hear Jesus rebuking. We didn't. All what Jesus said to Peter, go and throw out and they push out your hand and the forest fish pull up. Come, they take out the money and pay the bill for me and pay the bill for you. Come on this morning. It's like we're just wasting time. Come on. And, and because of that, let me say something. We are so tired as believers. We are tiring out self fighting with Satan. That we even we, we tired out self picking a fight with the devil. We are weird out self picking a fight all the time with the devil and he ain't even worth it. She ain't even worth it. They ain't even worth it. I'm taking Satan. Show up in a man. Show up in a woman. Come this morning. They ain't even worth it. Come on this morning. And we sit down, come on this morning, and the enemy come on, just having a laugh at us, come on, the enemy laughing at us, the enemy grinning at us, because the enemy know that he don't have no control over the very thing that we rebuking him, rebuking him, he ain't got nothing to do with it, his hands is not there, he has no power, he has no might, he has no strength, he has nothing there, but we going on back and forward, and we losing we mind and losing we self and we low. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we are not using what God has given to us. The power and the authority over those very things, people of God. Let us stop wasting days for God's sake. Let us stop, stop wasting seasons. Let us stop wasting moments. And let's guess what? Let's get the job done. Come on, come on this morning. Let's make life. You know, so we we making life hard for our own selves, right? We are making life hard for our own selves. Come on, pay attention, somebody. We're the one making life very hard for we own self. We're the one find making it difficult. Come on, we are the one. When Jesus asks the man, um, do you want to get well? He's going wrong and wrong and wrong. That is not the thing. Do you want to get well? Come on. Yes. Yes. All it means is a yes or a no. No explanation or nothing. Come on. Yes. Or what about yes and thank you? Or yes, please. Come on. Come on this morning. Yes, please. Or yes, thank you. Or things like that. Come on. The, the blind man. And there in the book, he said, what do you want? Come on. We want to see. 
We want to see. They didn't push him around. They didn't carry him around in all those different things. Come on this morning. We got the power. Come on. We got the source. We got everything that can work for some of us. But we are not using. Come on. We only blaming the devil. We blaming people. We blaming and blaming and blaming. And we are not using what we have. We will be tired. Now tell me something. I might have missed this morning program. Being worrying and fretting and losing my mind and all that. All I simply said, holy Ghost, reveal it unto me now. Reveal this unto me now. Reveal this mail to me now. Reveal this package unto me now. Because I know I left it in this bag. Look at the place that makes everything tumble out. I said, no, 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 no. I said, who cleaning all of this mess? No, no, no. I don't. Today is a very busy, it's a long day for me. Come on. No, no, no. We ain't doing this. Come on. All I said is a Holy Ghost reveal unto me now. Everything you want to know, you ask the Holy Ghost coming this morning and stop running around with assumption. Stop running around with some country with them beliefs for the enemy. Tell want you to believe a lie. Believe and some lie. Believe that God forsake you. Come on. Believe that God like. Come on this morning. We are running around with those things. Come on. Holy Ghost reveal unto me now. Let me tell you something. God don't like this people you know god don't lie to he's a revealer of every secret and everything they ain't got nothing that say don't go to hide and I think this morning, somebody, there's nothing that say don't go to hide from you and me what god can reveal come on this morning he said for those who walk upright with me and those who interact with me those who walk upright with me what he's going to do hey come on somebody help me this morning pastor come on this morning come on this morning pastor when you wake up come on good morning people of god wake up out of them bed this morning come on he said for those who walk upright with me come on i will reveal unto you the things that you don't know come on this morning the things that you don't know i will reveal unto you how much of us is tapping into that reveal flow how much of us is asking him to reveal or we run around with a song so we run around with some belief. We run around with some theory. We hold on on some light. How much of us today come on this morning? Ask him to reveal. Come on. You know, he just revealed a lot of things. Come on. You're assuming the man cheating. Come on this morning. Did the Holy Ghost reveal that unto you? Come on. You're, you're assuming that they're lying to you. Did the Holy Ghost reveal that unto you? Come, guess what? Sometimes guess what? The Holy Ghost might make somebody talk and then you hear. Come on. Come on. Remember when um, the, the guy Gideon? Gideon went to hear the dream. The dream. That's powerful dream. He heard the God tell him, but listen, you can hear. Did he reveal that unto you? Come on this morning. Did he reveal the theory that you have? Did he reveal that light? Come on this morning. And we running wrong and wrong and we jumping wrong and wrong up the highway and down the highway and all over the place. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something. God is a good revealer. Come on this morning. He makes certain, guess what? Holy Ghost is there to reveal the things coming this morning. Let me stop fighting with Satan. Let me stop losing the self with Satan. Let me stop losing the mind. Did he reveal unto you that the devil up in the place that need getting out coming this morning? Because he is going to reveal come on, that the devil is after you coming this morning. The devil come on. He tell you what's his name on. Ah, what's his name brother? He said, let me tell you something. <clears throat> the devil is after you. He's knocking at the door. With all his rage, in all his anger, that's what he said to Cain. The devil is after you. Do the thing right and you're going to get through. The devil is after you. Did he reveal unto you and me that the devil, that the devil is after us in that area, in that thing? Did he reveal unto any one of us that that is the devil throw you down? Did he reveal unto you because since it's the oh the devil and the devil and the devil and the, the devil don't blame him to and I come say he say you all are blaming him for everything. We not you all we are all blaming him for everything coming this morning. Did he reveal that come on this morning? Did he reveal that you didn't eat it properly for and last year? Did he reveal that come on you? Lying and guess what? The light got you coming this morning, and they saying there's the devil coming this morning. Did he reveal coming this morning? What but he revealed unto you honestly? What be revealing unto you true coming this morning? <laughs> what be he revealing unto us that this is not the way? But guess what? We will listen to the way. Come on. Like we only like, guess what? We like to believe the devil. We like to believe the lies, come on. And the lies, he keep feeding me and telling me. We holding on on those things coming this morning. And that could never be God. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us today, come on. We cannot say that we are believers. Nalini, come on. We cannot say we are believers, Jennifer. We cannot say we are believers. And we have never put the Holy Ghost to work. 
or the Holy Ghost never revealed something. Come on this morning. If we believe and we in sync with him, he gave us that. Come on. He's a part of our lives. He's a part of our daily lives. In the morning, in the nighttime, in the daytime, he's part of our life. I mean, this morning, he's a part of our lives that we can ask anything. That we can ask him to reveal. We can ask him to show. We can ask him anything. And once we ask him, Petal Bonnet, once we ask him, Sandy, once we ask him, Jennifer, once we ask him, Lady Haynes, he is going to show it to us. Mm -hmm. We miss a lot of things. We miss a lot of seasons. We miss a lot of times. We miss it. You know why? Because we thought it was the devil. We busy fighting. We tired out ourselves. Come on. Because you know what? It's the devil. And the devil ain't got no power over there. The thing. The devil have no authority over there. You got the authority. You got the power. You and I have the authority. You and I have the power. Yes, we got the power. Dear God, yes, come on. Holy Ghost, accompany me. Holy Ghost, show me. Holy Ghost, reveal unto me. Holy Ghost, enable me. Come on this morning. Mm -hmm. It's a trinity coming this morning. And he left it coming. He told him, he said, don't leave without it. And from the time we accepted him coming this morning, and we are pure people, but let me tell you something. Holy Ghost ain't gonna reveal anything to dirty people. Holy Ghost ain't gonna reveal anything to witches. Holy Ghost ain't gonna reveal anything to obey man and obey woman. Holy Ghost ain't gonna reveal anything to lying people and dishonest people. Holy Ghost will not reveal things to people who is not in sync with God. He said, when you in that place with me, come on, he will reveal things we in we in know. Holy Ghost ain't gonna reveal things to people, come on, because they ain't got no Holy Ghost and wicked people. They ain't got no Holy Ghost, come on. What Holy Ghost will dwell in Satan? Come on this morning. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe get it right this morning. Holy Ghost in a reveal into people, come on, who live in their own way, come on. He gone, he gone, come on. When he said to, to, to Joshua, come on, I gone. When y'all get it together, I'm going to come back. When y'all get your act together, I'm going to return back in that place. When y'all get together, come on. Holy Ghost will never show. Holy Ghost will never reveal. Holy Ghost will never operate. It don't operate in dirtiness. God don't operate in dirtiness. God don't operate in liardness, God don't operate in them things that we want. <laughs> Holy Ghost, come on. Holy Spirit, tell me. And the Holy Ghost, them, they ain't no, come on. No way, no way. There's Satan telling you that coming this morning. Satan is telling you that coming this morning. And guess what? Because Satan wants to hurt you. Satan wants to break you. Satan wants to sabotage you. Satan wants to see you fall on the ground. Mm -hmm. So he can get his laugh, and he can get to dance, and he can get to rejoice, and he can get to celebrate more and more and more and more over our lives. Come on this morning, people of God. Holy Ghost will never ever reveal nothing of, you want to tell me, Holy Ghost reveal them things and then wicked people for to do more wickedness? Oh yeah, come on. Oh no, come on. Holy Ghost reveal dog to you for you disrespect people. For you to be caressing out people. For you have no regards for God. Oh, please set yourself down this morning. That could never be no Holy Ghost. Don't come at your come on. Holy Ghost tell you to do people wickedness. Holy Ghost will reveal unto me and you to go and do people wickedness. To do spiteful thing. To do devilish thing. To do cruel thing. That cannot be. That cannot be. Come on. Holy Ghost reveal things to better us. To perform to perfect us that we be a people walk upright more and more and in sync with the things of God people of God good morning people of God come on Holy Ghost come on he don't mess with the unclean guess what but he hangs with the clean Come on this morning. He hangs with the clean. He hangs with the pure. Come on. Walk in the room and you don't know a thing and you watch them show up. Walk in the room and you don't know anything and watch them pull up. Because guess what? Guess what? The revealer of the secret for the thing. Come on. He revealed. Come on. He, didn't, he don't go in shady people. He not going to operate in shady people. He not going to operate in dishonest people. He not going to operate in wicked people. He not going to operate in fake people. He not going to operate with false people. And 
me tell you something. He will never ever operate in a man with today with Jesus and tomorrow. It's not with Jesus. Come on. He will never ever operate. Don't care what you say. I don't care who said, but I am of God. I don't care who jump. We will know who is of God. Because what is of God will stand. What is of God will what is not of God will never stand. Come on this morning. I do. I don't lose sleep, you know. Come on. Voice of God, let me tell you something. If I, if me, if say me is not of God, I'm gonna stand coming this morning. I'm gonna let us come this morning. If my dealings is not of God, no way Lex will have success. No way Lex have breakthrough. No way, no way, no way coming this morning. But voice of God is going to last. Voice of God is going to stand. Come on. God don't operate. God ain't gonna send no Holy Spirit. God ain't gonna put no spirit in no faith, man. You know, dishonest man, you know, light man, you know, man where he's like, no regards to him. There ain't no God up inside of you. I don't care what the check coming in. You can say what they want, but you're a child of God. Let me tell you something. We got to check ourselves something. We are to be more. Oh, I'm a child of God. i really, really, what a child of God. Let me tell you something. A child of God is to get rebuke. A child of God is to get discipline. A child of God is to get correct. Come on. A child of God is to get testing. A child of God is to get pushed. Come on. This where we we know we really is a child of God. Come on, people of God. We know exactly come on this morning that Joseph indeed was a man of God. He get tested, he get pushed, come on, and he had no anger, he had no bitterness. Come on, his own brother and brothers and siblings, I guess what they stick it to him, his, his parents said. It was going at him coming this morning. We know that that is a man of God. Come on, sex passing and he refused. He left before he said, uh -uh, I'm jumping in for the work of this morning. He come on. We know man of God. We know a true man of God and a true woman of God. Let me tell you something a true man of God and a true woman of God. When the Holy Ghost is operating in, there's text on beating, there's text on licking, and they still got the praise. They still got the doubt. They got the stinking attitude. They got the nasty behavior. They got true. Shades, come on. They don't have to be in sudden coming this morning. They don't withhold. They don't make never say something. People of God, come on this morning. Come on. You know a true woman of God, and you know a true man of God come on this morning. You just know come on this morning because a true woman of God and a true man of God, they understand that guess what? Tough times don't last, but guess what? They understand that tough people do last. Are you in this morning? Somebody come on, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on. Yeah. Let the Holy Ghost walk inside you. Come on. Because guess what? The Holy Ghost can tell you and say, You are lying. Stop that nonsense. The Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. Go rebuke me. The Holy Ghost can help me to get it right. The Holy Ghost can correct me. Come on this morning. The Holy Ghost can help me. Come on, can help me to come into that beautiful man. A beautiful woman. It was shaped us. Come on. It shaped us in such a way. I'm telling you, come on this morning. That when men so wait a minute. Come on. Is you? Is you? We know exactly that that was God that fought. Come on. We know that that was the spirit of the living God that fallen Saul. He said, excuse you, me. Who are you, Lord? Lord? Mm -hmm. Because guess what? What was up in Saul was Satan. What was up in Saul was the devil. Come on. No Holy Ghost will tell you to broke up the church. Come on this morning. No. <laughs> Holy Ghost thing and to broke up no church come on. Holy Ghost thing and to kill out the church. People coming this morning. Holy Ghost thing and to do those things. Holy Ghost ain't gonna tell you to do them because them things what Saul was doing come on this morning. No Holy Ghost will tell you to do that come on. Shut down the church come on. Sabotage the church. Break up the work of God come on. Mm -hmm. No Holy Ghost will tell you that come on. Wicked spirit will let you do them things come on. The devil will come on. Witches will do that coming this morning. Wizards is going to do that this morning. Come on. Jealousy is going to do that coming this morning. The spirit of anger is going to do that this morning. The spirit of rage is going to do that this morning. Because guess what? So we don't want to take, so we don't want to be disciplined. So we don't want to be corrected coming this morning. And then we drop and say, is God tell me? God didn't tell you nothing. Because God don't tell you nothing to corrupt people's lives. God wants everybody to be happy and to be blessed. Not to be sad and to be angry and to be bitter and to be sour. But He wants all of us to be what to be blessed come on you want all of us to be blessed you want all of us to be shining yes let me tell you something that's us always tell, tell the people check that thing out is that a testing from god or is it a rasting from the devil we know exactly that joseph own was a testing and that's an harassing from no devil coming that was god testing him on every side and he passed those tests season after season after season he passed those tests people of god 
We will not have a conversation with the Holy Ghost if we are not walking right. Come on, this morning. We will not have that conversation. We will never get a conversation. The Holy Ghost will never respond if we are not getting it together. Come on, this morning. We can hollow all night and we can hollow all day. Anybody remember the, the children come on, was washing them, bailing them, ugly looking things. Come on. They open up their mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they are hollering out and screaming and shouting out. Fall, bail them. Come on. Eh, 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 eh. We got to all. I'm saying again, the devil don't have no power. The devil can't drop literally fire from heaven because he have no power over that. But let me tell you something. Who can drop literally fire? God can drop literally fire. When Elijah opened up his mouth, he said, let it be known today that the God of Abraham, the God who I serve him, is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Israel. And one of the things he said, drop fire in this place. Answer by fire. Excuse me, people of God. He did answer by fire. He dropped my fire, licking up every single thing. The people was caught on that ugly thing. No fire drop. Not one drop. Because the devil, guess what? He have no control over that people of God. Come on, good morning, people of God. Mm. Holy Ghost will help us. Fidel, how are you doing? Good morning. Holy Ghost will help us. Holy Ghost will perfect us. Holy Ghost will help us to remove those desires and those longings. Come on. Holy Ghost reveal unto us. Let me tell you something. The grounds we are treading on is not a good ground. But how much of us people of God? How much of us does allow him? How much of us does respond to him? How much of us does look to him? How much of us does seek him? How much of us does listen? There's the next thing this morning. Come on. We don't have to listen. Come on. We want to do our own thing. Come on this morning. We know for sure that it was the Lord on Saul's life. Come on. Saul, Saul, who are you? Who are you? Lord, yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Because guess what? It was only me could shut up your eye and open up your eyes, Saul. Mm -hmm. Only me could blind you and open it back. Come on. Who are you? Who are you? And I mean, you know, you know. One of the things I think with Saul is like he never heard or never that fear that come over him. He never come on that something happened there that he never experienced because he never said Lord before. Who are you, Lord? Come on. When he was carrying on, come on. He stand up and the men kept throwing the clothes on his ground and crowning him, Lord of the devils. Come on this morning. It's, it's, it's breaking down Stephen. Stephen fall on he died and they throwing the clothes on his foot and he like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. And he could go around looking to do more mischief. That cannot be Holy Ghost. I don't care what nobody said. That cannot be Holy Ghost. He is the revealer of everything. He let us know. He shows. We will know people of God. Like we were sharing on yesterday, the woman said, she can, she sense it's he's a holy man. You just know when you're in the place, but we got to be in that place. And if we're not in that place, we're going to do, we're going to end up like them Balaam worshippers calling, holy, oh, bala, 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 bala. And bala ain't going to do anything. But when we call on the one like Elijah, he said, let it be known today that the God of us served. Let it be known today and the God that I serve is the real God. And he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. When we are in sync with him, he ain't going to work for we. Mountains ain't going to move. Those mountains will only come down and kill we. <laughs> for truth to God, I tell you. Those mountains will come down and break we. He will operate, he will move, he will shut down and he will destroy. When we are in touch with him, we can make it rain, you know, coming this morning. Holy Ghost, please send rain. Then when we busy fighting and saying Satan, that come from the rain. Satan has no control over the rain. Satan has no control over the things that we are fighting sometimes with Satan with. We go in and pick and fight with Satan. For some things that Satan have no control over. We are speaking into Satan. We are speaking over Satan. We are giving Satan the power. 
We busy speaking. We giving Satan recognition. We some we be ordaining Satan. <laughs> We put an oil on Satan and we give in Satan the right to wait to torment, the right to wait to harass, the right to wait to stab, the right to wait. Because we making Satan know that we got this fear and we got this pain and because we got up with stick and lashing and beating and oh yeah, we yanking out of Satan. And Satan have no part. And our Satan do this laughing more. Laughing more and grinning his teeth and ding 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 and he grinning and grinning his skin his teeth and he got nothing to do with that. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. It's time the body of Christ start moving smart and acting smart, like really smart people. It's time the people who come on this morning, and if you're not in sync, it ain't gonna work for you. Come on this morning. If you're not in sync, come on. We're going to fail again. We're going to lose again. We're going to fall again. We must be in sync with him. <laughs> Sometimes it's really sad in my heart to see where some people are as believers. And some of these people born in church, raised in church, and they're just there. But they their lack relationship. It's not in sync. Holy Ghost in dwelling and they consider tidying out the self. You know, sometimes when, if you listen sometimes when I pray, I'm wasting time to knock it on. I'm praying and calling things into being. That's what praying is scripture. I am praying and calling things into being and I'm using the scripture. I'm not time to sit on this stupidness. He wearies you out. He tires me out. And we get to enjoy. Things gonna happen. Things gonna go. And I can hold on to what the scripture said. No weapon form against me is going to prosper. Witches going to pelt. They will speak evil. Wicked spirits. They will try. They will come up in all form. But no one going to prosper. Because I know who my God is. And I know in whom I look to. I know where my strength come from. I know where my power come from. And I know that I have authority over those things. I know that I know that I have authority over that. I have authority over them. I have authority over she. You have authority over witches. You have authority over darkness. You have authority over devils. We have authority over them. A couple of them get Jesus really crazy. Get him mad. When the man bring the, the child at the demon on him. And they could not call that thing. He said, what's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you guys? He yelled at come and you them. He said, this kind come on. You see, we got to know the kind. Here we talk about the kind. The kind of devils we dealing with. What kind of situation are you dealing with? What, what, come on. What exactly are we dealing with? He said, this kind. He make mention of the kind this kind. That means there's different kind. There gonna be different kind of situation, brothers and sisters. This kind. He make mention of the kind. This kind. This kind didn't call for a rebuke. But this kind called for exercising authority and calling it to him. This kind didn't call for that. This kind didn't, and so we wasting our time. And Jerry also that them the wasting and then the man just run away and then can wearing out the cell. Mm -hmm. Wearing out themselves, tiding out themselves. And he began to he said, This kind, there gonna be all kinds of drama, there gonna be all kinds of chaos, there gonna be all kinds of things turning up to harass the people of God. And he said, this kind, we must know the kind of the situation. We must know the kind we're dealing with. And because some of us don't know what kind we're dealing with, the enemy can keep boom, 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 boom. Because we don't know the kind that we're dealing with. And how do we know what kind we're dealing with? Through the Holy Ghost. 
And if we don't have no connection with the Holy Ghost, we are never know the kind of devils we deal with at times. We never know the kind of the storms we are up against. We never know what kind of parasite we are up against coming this morning. We never know what kind of witches are killing one, the hating one. We never know what kind of spirits we are dealing with. He said this kind and the body of Christ because we don't know the kind that we're dealing with. You think that she good. This what with you because she gave you a raise and she buying this and she putting money out. You think that he nice. But you don't know the kind of devil up in the man or the woman coming this morning. Yeah. He said this kind. And how will I know what kind if I don't have the Holy Ghost inside of me? How would I know what kind of devils you're dealing with? How would I know what kind of spirits you're dealing with? How would you know the kind? We need to know the kind when we're in sync with him. And as he said, he said, this kind is true prayer. Prayer will reveal it. And through the prayer, we get hooked up with him. Through the prayer, we connect with him. Through the prayer, we know the kind of devils we're facing. We know the kind of storm you're coming up against. Come on. Come on this morning. Is that the, the storm? That kind of storm is kill. Yeah. So guess what? I'm going to rebuke the killing spirit. Come on this morning. We ought to know the kind. Or we going to tire out ourselves season after season. Oh. Hmm. He said this kind. They were losing their minds, brothers and sisters. Good morning to you once. Wonderful people. Blessings to your home and family. They were losing because they didn't know the kind. And when we know the kind that we're dealing with, we're going to get through first. The kind of situation, the kind of storm, the kind of people, the kind of circumstances. We need to know what kind. Some will call, call for fasting and praying. Some will not call for fasting and praying. Eat your food before the devil kill you, young girl. Week. We ought to know the kind. And because we don't know the kind, the enemies are asking us. And it is in the book of Isaiah 58, somewhere around 6. He said, this kind of fasting we call for. To lose the bond of wickedness. Oh, yeah. He said, this is the kind of fasting. Now, what we ask, like, this is the kind to lose the ban of wickedness. <laughs> we ought to know the kind. The kind of devils we're dealing with. The kind of spirits we're dealing with. One of the things is I walk in a room. I walk around the room. Mm -hmm. I don't care where I got. First the thing I say. Or even before I get there. I send out my antennas. What am I going up against? So many clothes. What spirits up in their places? What kind of people come on? Brothers and sisters, when the children of Israel, when they cross over, I say, agree at me this morning. When the children of Israel, when they cross over the Red Sea, in the book of Numbers, somewhere around 13 there, when God said to Moses, Pick up 12 leaders. Pay attention somebody. Pick up 12 leaders. To go and do what? To spy out the land. Because you need to know the kind of people you're going up against. Those information is important. Send the people. To spy out. And that's what the Holy Ghost and we just do. The spy out for we. The spy out. But you have to have the Holy Ghost in you. He will spy out. He will pick out. You have to have the Holy Ghost in you. Lord was showing me a man of God. And I was like. This is questioning. A man of God overseas. So this is questioning. He said, this is not his bad character. Oh, this man getting into this. Mm -hmm. You see, but he like this man. Nice man. Mm -hmm. But you don't even know the kind of man you're dealing with. You don't know the kind of woman you're dealing with. Do you know what kind of past you have? You didn't come this morning. 
He said, go spy the land so you know the kind. And let me tell you something. The kind you're dealing with, not for you to become intimidated, you know. Not for you to lose your mind. You need to know the kind so you can be able to have what somebody. We can be able to have strategy for the kind. You know, you've been informed. You get it. Before you get there, Ali Cup. Before you get there, Hill Dread. Before you get there, Swan. Before you get there, Henry. Before you get there, Fidel. You know. You know. Exactly. The kind of devils you're dealing with. So you will know because guess what? Holy Ghost can don't give you strategy. If you stay quiet, it's for command, if it's a rebuke, it's for shutdown. And I see this as, a, as me learning through the Holy Ghost. I see this as me gaining wisdom and not understanding through Him. For those who just got on, I was looking for something this morning. And I can't find it. I know I left it in the Bible. Can't find it. I'm searching out wrong and wrong in the bag. Pilgrim, and I can't find. The whole place is a mess. And I gotta get this thing because time is going there waiting to get it in here. And I'm tumbling looking here and I'm tumbling looking there and I'm tumbling looking there. So excuse you me. This this confounded nonsense gotta stop to clean up this place. I don't have this time for this nonsense. Wow, let me tell me now. Hey! Hey! I done it largely to do housework a long time. I ain't able to pack up all them things, man. I said I left it in that bag. It's right in that bag. One bag, come out, two bag. No, 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 no. I went in the bag. I said, no, I come down and pick. No, no, no. I go back to the bag. And when I go back to the bag, brothers and sisters, for who just got here? Good morning. All I simply said, Sandra Blocko, Holy Ghost, Reveal unto me now. I go in the bag, pick up the book, and the envelope fall out. Bottom. Reveal unto me now. And that's it, it fall out. I would have gone in the name of Jesus and rebuking Satan and Satan and Satan. And when we got the one who could reveal what kind of thing you're dealing with. What kind of devils we're dealing with. What kind is a hold up spirit want to hold you up. To throw you up. Reveal unto me now. We don't know the kind of things we're dealing with. That's what we're determining now. You see if we know exactly the kind of things that some of we're dealing with. We ain't gonna waste time to rebuking Satan. We ain't gonna waste time yanking out and yelling out and screaming out with Satan back and forward. But we will exercise what God gave to us. Do you know that you can call things into being? Should the Holy Ghost come up? We wasting so much of time. Mm -hmm. He revealed the kind of thing. He revealed if it needed a shouting. He revealed if the kind of fasting. He revealed the kind of praying or just what? Just exercising the authority. He revealed it unto us. We don't, we, we lose it because we don't know what we're dealing with. And the work is becoming harder and we are tying out our own selves, Fidel. We are draining our own self, Jennifer. We are wearing our own self, Beverly. We're going crazy, Sandy, and we lose it because we don't know the kind of the devil we're dealing with. Might be a death, might be some kind of hardship. Might be some kind of a weakness. Might be some kind of a disgrace. Might be some kind of a poverty. Might be some kind from, it, from the past, come on. And once you know the kind you're dealing with, you're going to know if you need to fast. You're going to know if you need to. Saying again in the book of Isaiah 58, he said, this is the kind of fasting and praying that we need to do to lose the band of wickedness. Wickedness. When God, when the Holy Ghost revealed, and when God revealed unto us the kind, He wants us to be knowledgeable of that thing. 
And when we are knowledgeable of it, we are supposed to triumph. Twelve men went to spy out the land. And when they come back, they said, that kind they can't kill. Who said so? <laughs> God is waiting for we to ask him the strategy for their kind. God is waiting on we to talk to him to reveal unto us how to handle that kind. How to deal with that kind. What to say with that kind. Because some of us got to stay silent. Some of us got to shut your mouth. Some of you have to speak. Some of you have to rebuke. Some of you have to call. Some of you have to chase out. Depending on the kind that you're dealing with. He tell him because this kind. They didn't know that that kind don't come out like that. They didn't know the kind that you got to pray. They didn't know the kind that the kind is rebuking. This morning, my kind did not need a rebuking. My kind just need the Holy Ghost to reveal it to me. My kind just need me exercising the authority. My kind just need me putting the Holy Ghost to work. Oh, come on this morning. Mm -hmm. My kind just need me calling it into being. My kind just need me asking Holy Ghost to reveal it to you. Let me go, you know, Yankee, no good, young, don't go, you, 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 fighting. Me and Satan fighting. And Satan just laughing because time going. Brothers and sisters, we are losing days and hours and seasons and years because we don't know the kind of things we're dealing with. We don't know the kind of people we're dealing with. Yeah, we take so long to find out the kind. And when you find out the kind, we angry. We bitter in we sour. But if we don't know the kind, when they show the colors, you will not be bitter, and you won't be angry. Because God will reveal it a long time to you. <laughs> I went to out the other day and a group of people. And I prepared a message and then Something about it, it wasn't the message was just in coming, and I say, No, something God, I end up digging myself with it. So, listen to me when I got there, I want you to tell me what to do. I'm not digging myself with this message because something just in registered. So, Holy Ghost was saying to me, No, I get up on here, deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. And I said, Okay, leave that alone because we do it then. When I got there, Holy Ghost, this kind here ain't gonna receive no word. Because this is devils you're dealing with that need to be knocked out. Devils need to be knocked out. Devils need to be cast out before they can get the word. <laughs> they ain't gonna receive not one. God was so right. He was accurate and he was right. God don't ever lie. He's a revealer of everything. But we fail it because we don't know the kind. And once we intact with him, we in a relationship with him, he will keep revealing the kind. The kind of the struggles, the kind of the battles, the kind of the challenges, whatever it is, he will reveal it in season and out of season. As we continue to stay intact with the Lord. Brothers and sisters, Holy Ghost ain't going to sit in dirty people. Holy Ghost and sitting messy people are saying again. When we are in tact with him, when we are in sync with him, when we are in that place with him, he will tell us the kind of devils we're dealing with. He will tell us the kind of demons coming up against us. He can tell us the kind of, the kind of plans of the enemy, where, what kind of plan he's planning. And we lack in that as a people of God. And that's why we keep bouncing wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong. Some of us have no settlement. And we're going to pick up more devils. More devils. The people you link up with. The ministry you link up with. Did you ask the Lord to reveal anything to you. But that kind of ministry. Do you ask the Lord. To reveal unto you. What kind of ministry is that ministry. What kind of people. What kind of they dealing with. But we're running into be sitting down. And then when troubles come. Because I always tell the people. I don't do unnecessary warfare. I don't have the time. No, I don't have the time. Unnecessary warfare, I don't do. No. Remember there was an individual come out from one mess 
and go on looking at the mess. And I watch them for days and I say, you, the Holy Ghost tell me exactly that, that, that's a suicidal spirit on that individual. I said, okay. The Holy Ghost said, you leave it alone. I'm dealing with them because I want to discipline them. I want to discipline them. The Holy Ghost said, I said, what, what? I said, Holy Ghost said, you leave it alone. You keep away. I'm going to tell you when to touch. I'm going to tell you when to pray. I'm going to tell you when to lay hand. And I watched them one week, two weeks, and they really were struggling. And they told me the Holy Ghost to get up and pray. You see, when I get up and I lay hand on that individual, it's like, it's like a, a, a whole new person come back. A whole new person. Because the Lord said to me, he said, that kind is a suicidal spirit. But I just want to discipline them. We go into places, we go into things. And we ever ask, what kind of spirits are these people dealing with? What kind are they dealing with? Are they, are they, is, is that kind dealing with the Holy Ghost? Or that kind dealing with something else, which is in this earth? And we mess up ourselves and put ourselves in years and months and days and seasons back. Mm -hmm. We put ourselves right there back. Brothers and sisters, this woman that stand before you, I am fearless. I am fearless because I know that God got my back. Because I walk upright with him. I'm not perfect, but I walk upright with him and I am fearless. I know that every day a weapon is formed. I know that every day a weapon is attacked. I know it is felt from all angles. Who is spitting, who is cursing, who, I, I know it. But I am fearless. I am fearless because I know that the Holy Ghost is in me. He's my friend, he's my motivator, and he keeps me. I am fearless. He makes certain he drops it in me. He makes certain he showed me. He makes certain he tells me because I have a relationship with him. A young lady reached out to me yesterday and she said, um, Pastor Lexi was trying to call you a couple of days. This year, I had a couple of missed calls. The day when it come off and I was rushing and I didn't get her and so yesterday I go and shoot the phone and I'm so gosh, let me call the call her back. She said, Pastor Lexa was calling you. So what happened? She said the day when you when you when you do talk on the life and you reveal what the Holy Ghost saying. She said and she cried. She said, I said, Lexa, this is for truth. I said, what is truth? She said that there are some people around me. No good, they ain't good or whatever they can't remember which they're mad. They ain't good or, or don't trust them or something like that. And she started to cry. I said, what happened? She said, Pastor Alexis, it is so true. I simply say something to one to this person. And they go back and say, and these people curse me out nasty. And these are people I'm waking and living with in the same house. I said, what? She said, yes, you did reveal it. You did reveal it and I started to cry because it was truth. You said the people around me, something with the people around me and whatever, whatever. She said, she said it was so truth and she cried. She said, please pray for me. And I pray with her and encourage her. I said, just be careful with the kind of people around you. Now guess what? She learned. She <laughs> learned the hard way too. Surely she discovered that the people around her is not to be trusted even though they have the same blood. But some of you, we don't get it at all. She learned that the people are wrong, the kind of people are wrong, she can't say certain things to. Because they will go back and say and put you in a whole story. She said, man, she said, if you see the, 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 the messages coming in my phone, with, I said, don't delete it. don't listen to them, don't listen to it. She said, I do that, and she cried. She said, you know why she cried? Because this is blood. DNA, same, we got the same DNA. She say, say something to them and go back. Just forget prongs and get hand out. Do that to her. She said, Pastor Lexi, that thing was so truth when you tell me. This woman is fearless. I don't lose my mind. I don't lose my mind with nothing. Because I know that God got my back. He revealed unto me. He showed me. And nothing God don't like to Alexis Lewis. God don't like to she. And once Alexis Lewis continue to be pure in God, God continue to reveal unto her everything that she need to know. When you walk upright with him, Holy Ghost will come in. But if you're walking upright, I am not perfect. But if you walk upright with him, no Holy Ghost. You cannot tell me that there's this Holy Ghost inside of you with the nonsense we do it, 
We jumping around here, there. We doing no, 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 no. Holy Ghost was correct. Holy Ghost was speak. Holy Ghost was reveal. Holy Ghost is tell us the kind. Holy Ghost. And one of the things where those brothers was lacking, you know why it is that they, they couldn't pray for that man? Let's be reading this morning the scripture here. Passing with. Remember what he said? He said, this kind called for prayer. Pastor Ingrid was not, was not, there was not the same set of people he was telling them, let me pray. Y'all yeah, gonna miss this thing? Let me pray. Y'all yeah, can't watch me for an hour? Let me pray. 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 Oh yeah. But we want to call demons. And that's what they didn't know the kind of devil that was dealing with. Because that was the thing that was missing in their lives. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that was missing in the life. He said, let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray. I can't wait me over. So guess what? And the ones that are going casting out demons. Casting out demons. Knocking out demons. Satan waiting for a rust, a couple of evil. Satan waiting for embarrass me. Because guess what? We got no power to speak to him. We got no authority. We got no power. You know why? You know why we got no power? Because guess what? We are idled. We are just as he. He said, I'll be a one family coming this morning. Oh, you know what? We have no praise strength. We have no might. We have nothing. Your relationship, our relationship built with him through prayer, reading the word and supplication. That's how the relationship built. And because we have no relationship, like those who was worshiping the Balaam, they had a relationship with Balaam. They didn't have a relationship with God. But Elijah had a relationship with God. And he opened up his mother and sister. He said, let it be known today that the God that I serve, the God that I serve him, is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Israel. He said, let it be known today. Because you know why? Elijah had a relationship with him. They were communicating. Not today we talk to him. Tomorrow, when things going nice, we put a pause on him. But only when we want something, then it's when we get it together. It don't work so. We need a continued, a consistent relationship with God. And when you got it, ain't nobody touching you. He said, no weapon that form against us is going to prosper. But you know why those, those things are prospering? Because guess what? We relationship with him is not intact. So the enemy will come in and cut off. The enemy will come in and beat up some of us. We don't know the kind of devils we're dealing with. Because we don't have a proper relationship with God. And if we don't have a proper relationship with God, the enemy going to keep doing with the same things all the time. When we have a proper relationship with God, we're going to know exactly the kind of devils that are posing us. We're going to know exactly the kind of travelers. We know exactly the kind of storm because he's going to tell you, hey, they're coming for you. But listen to me, you hide in the corner. Look at David. I love the relationship with David. And the David, he said, do you want mess it up? David, every time that he go up, he's, 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 he's a hollow of to go up. Because that man had a tight relationship with his father. He said, do I go up to kill her? But they kill me. He said, nah. You going to dog down here? You going to go out of the street? You going to surround it? He always. So David know the kind of. Look here somebody this morning. Huh? David know the kind of witches and wizards. David know the kind of devils because he don't get prepared. Shall I go up against them? Yes, go up. You're going to kill them. Yes, go up. No, don't go up. Stay wrong here and go wrong here. You know exactly because he know the kind of people. You know they like bush. That's my God to go wrong the bush. You know they're allergic to the bush. You know some allergic to the water. The man was bad because, you know, and don't make you win. He said, this one here, I know this kind. Oh, please, you mean? He said, I know this kind. I know this kind. This animal in front of me, I know this kind. 
How would you know the kind? When we sing with him, he will tell us the kind. And he ain't telling me the kind to kill me. He tells us the kind that we will be prepared. We don't have to answer fools like fools. <laughs> we don't have to stand up and argue with Satan. Satan like an argument. When Jesus pulled up, there was one big argument. So what's going on here? What's going on here? We know not to argue and go on and drug. We know not to. Because we know that, guess what? We know that that devil there is an arguing devil going to break your strength. He won't take your strength. We know we're going to waste time on arguing because we know exactly what the devil wants. To. He wants you to say something. He's going to come up with all them things, them different ugly, dirty, filthy, witches, yardsticks. And he's going to come up with all them things because he wants he want to get you to say something out of your character. Come on this morning. He wants to get you, and guess what? Something. They're recording you. Oh, yeah. You know, pop rocks is coming. Come on. They want to get you. Come on. So, certain kind you don't waste time with. Certain kind you just left them. And let me tell you something. Not every kind that is left in the hands of God. If God didn't tell you it is his it's own, deal with it. Because he already revealed to you the kind. Hey, somebody this morning. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. I'm having fun in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. He revealed, come on. The God that we serve, he is so bad. The God that we serve is so bad. He makes certainly reveal unto us the kind of spirits and the kind of devil, the kind of witches, the kind of people, the kind of storm, the kind of circumstances. You know why the next thing is to some people of God? God already re revealed unto you the kind you know, but you won't hold on to them because guess what you're saying? Oh, because, um, oh, because who will help me? <laughs> really? God take the kind to drop you. God take the kind to hurt you. God take the kind to break you. And you still holding on. God tell you get rid of that kind. God already revealed the kind to you, and that kind need to go through the door. That kind need to be cut off. That kind need to be broken off. That kind need to separate itself from. But no, we holding on. We holding on. Dear to the life, come on. God already said that kind is no good for you. And the lady, I said, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do here. God tell me, this man is no good. Don't murder him. And I pack five barrels. And I pick up the best dress. I buy me dress and he suit. And I, the, how much this bedding is, how much million dollar? Mm, mm, mm. And I could already know, buy my car, I don't, don't pay on my house. God revealed the kind of a man. God revealed the kind of a man is not for you. You already asked for the kind of a man. Probably the kind of a man, you have to the, the kind of a woman. God revealed the kind of a man. And she didn't listen to God like some of us. And she went on and married the kind of a man that's not her kind of a man. Oh. And now she's crying and she's screaming. She says, so what do you want me to do? What exactly that I can do for you? I don't know. Crying. I said, here what we going to do? God reveal, right? God did tell you the kind of spirit, the kind of thing you're getting yourself into. And he tell you it's a no. But you still can't hear this to be him. I said, go read Psalm 51 and pray like oh David prayed. When he messes it up, go ask God for forgiveness. That's all I can do for you. I said, go and ask God for forgiveness. And you're going to ask him for forgiveness? You can take it from there. He's going to help you. He's a merciful God. How many of us are getting into things with people? And God revealing the kind to we. But we, because guess we think that we get in. For some perks, we get in. God reveal the kind of people that we get in ourselves involved with and we ignore him. I remember I was traveling out and going out the state. 
And I said it was going to go by such and such a person. Already planned. I didn't even... That's when I got there and whatever. I talked to them and whatever. Oh, I'm going to come by you and so on. When I go and lie down and sleep. That was my plan. And let me tell you something. There is sometimes, pay attention to somebody, that God, you didn't ask him, you know. We didn't ask him to reveal, but just because, guess what? We have a relationship and he promised to keep us from dangerous, seen and unseen people of God. We didn't ask him. We didn't ask him. We didn't ask him to. But we just, because guess what? We trust the people. We trust the thing. We trust them and we jump into a bed with them, right? We didn't ask. Oh. But because the man so loved me and we have relationship with him, he promised to be the eyes and the ears for us. He promised to watch over us that no bad thing will befall us. Have you heard this morning, somebody? That no bad thing will come to us. No bad thing will drop at me door. No bad. I didn't ask him, you know. And I, and I just met back in my bag and I'm going. And I'm going. <laughs> I go on in and lay down and take a sleep. Ooh. I said, what? God revealed to me them people is not a good people to go sleep at. God revealed to me, you go in in there, you going to bring out a set of things. He showed me who had tire. He showed me who foot flat. He showed me where the altar there. I said, what? Them nice people got one with you. I agree. So, okay. I called the people. Go reveal again the next time. I said, well, here, here, you win. Go, so you're going to go and you're going to catch your journey back. I'm going to keep your eye open. I'm going to give you strength to come back. No way. God revealed that to me. And God don't lie. <laughs> God's them people and none good people. And them people, in, they in love you like that. They in love you like that. It's okay, whatever. It's supposed to be fun, whatever. Not so long, Robinson. The very people. <laughs> the very people that God revealed. The very thing that God revealed in the dream of the people. Boy, when they start up that, they start. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> the God. Look at that. Joel Johnson. Me run. Me run so quick. <laughs> if you want to pick up. Me run. God does reveal because get what? I will step in a hole, a cult. I will step in a mess. I will step in a dirty place with dirty people. I didn't ask him, you know why? Passing red. Because I said, what, you know what? It's people I know, it's family. What happened me? What this family? Yeah. God revealed that them are nothing good. You're going to go and jeopardize your life. You won't go in there and say, don't want to kill you because you're going into a dark house. A house that got no light of Christ in it. And you're going in there, you're going to get injured. Now, one for two, and I get up and say, what is this? Hey, the man, we didn't want What with you? When I come back home, and I talk to them, hmm. Why don't you say, hey, them home? Hmm. You know, but we don't even know that was your plans to go there. Or why would you go there? I said, oh, no, I was just going to, I don't know, come on. The laziness sometimes does bring injury to me. <laughs> God reveal that. God show it. God reveal. God reveal. Sometimes he don't. But sometimes he do. We even ask him. We didn't even ask him. I didn't even pray. But I was packing my charge with booze and I'm gone. You will go and take him. You got to take him and get yourself back in. Very careful. Because he promised to protect us from any and every form of danger. 
You see, you see something. We only looking for danger with um, falling and knocking ourselves. But let me tell you something. Demons could affect us. They could bring endangerment to our lives. They could endanger our bodies. They could endanger our thoughts. They could bring in danger. We can't worship no more. We suddenly get an urges for alcohol, for sex, for this and that. We can't get what They possess our lives and they bring endangerment to our lives. God promised when we stay connected with him, he will stay revealing. We like to get confused. And the next thing, it's me sister, it's me brother, it's me mother, it's me flesh, it's me blood. I share with you just now, right? Well, Lord, literally, I am not in that nation. I am not in that town. I am not in that city passing room. But God used the same broadcast here to reveal unto the individual that there are witches there in the environment. And I don't even know. They're, they're surrounding with terrible people. And I didn't know that. I didn't know anything. But God revealed to me to involve the individual. They call crying he. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. The God we served. Now guess what? They know that it's witches in the environment. And they will know how to operate. God reveal. Because God didn't want to see his people sad. God didn't want to see me unhappy. God didn't want me to beg. That was God. When Abraham said, no, thank you. No, thank you. That was God. That was God. When God said, when Elijah said, no, thank you. Naaman would have gone and said, he paid for getting thing. He paid for getting deliverance. He paid for getting cleaning up. He paid. God shut it down. You see, God know the kind of people, places, and things. God know every kind. We don't know no kind. Everybody nice to we. Every church nice to we. Every life nice to we. Every pastor nice to we. The come with emotions. Mm -hmm. They come with all this drama. Uh, come on. They come up using the sympathy stick. And everybody, come on. You all know a sympathy flowing anointing. Why want with why want in a church with sympathy? I want to be in a church where the Holy Ghost is operating. I want to be in a church where the Spirit of the Living God is operating. And we sit down in a sympathy place because sympathy and sympathy, he using sympathy, she using sympathy. Yeah. They're using sympathy to drug you. They're using sympathy to gain. I don't want to be them crap people of God. I don't want to be a part of that coming this morning. When we intact with God, brothers and sisters, He will show me the kind and stop being ignorant. Stop being stupid. Don't care what they're giving you. Don't care the paying a bill. Stop for heaven, God's sake. They will drop you there. Got the next one for you. I had plan was to take somebody into my home. <laughs> oh God of mercy. <laughs> I half plan was to take in. <laughs> Cause I feel sympathy. Well, oh, like I feel sorry for them and I will, you know, they get big and the age with them. I'm gonna take them in. I <laughs> know oh, Jesus. All right, I didn't. I, this is me plan all the time. This is the route I'm going to go. I will let it stay here, and I can let it stay over this. And I'm like, <laughs> God revealed to me that a snake is still a snake. A snake is still a snake and still dangerous. So what we gonna? Something I tell the kids for tell them. So listen to me. Tell them X, Y, and Z. Um, you know. I gotta watch this song. I said, oh, here the Holy Ghost. Don't you know the line? You know this, you hear the same line again. They hear the line 10 years ago. You know the line right there? No changes. 
Don't take them in. Leave them out there to perish. <laughs> so what kind of thing is this? <laughs> you know, you know I have done it? You know I am done till I get insult? And then it's when I'm done. Me? Me? I am growing every day, God. <laughs> it doesn't matter how they look. It doesn't matter how it seems. A snake will continue to be a snake. A witch will be a witch. It doesn't matter. When God revealed to you the kind that wrong you, cut off, separate, move away for your own good. Because people of God, some of those kind that God revealing and warning we of is the hindrance in our businesses, in our career, with our walk, in our lives, in our homes. When God reveal it, get rid of it. That is the kind will hinder you from prospering. That's the kind will hinder you from getting in. Hey, you know you got a prophetic word. But it will never burn. It will never come to pass. If we continue with that kind that God is warning me and showing me. It will never happen. We will never come in. We will never achieve. If we never acquire. With that kind. And let me tell you something. Some of the kind that God is talking about. Is the kind of stinking rotten behaviors we got. Oh no. I'm losing a couple of you this morning. But I don't care. still love you. The kind of stinking, dirty, rotten behaviors we have. The cunning, the tricking, the jealousy, the wicked. That's the kind. Hey! Go tell Moses, send and check out the kind of thing that went and check out. Holy Ghost is checking me. Holy Ghost is I like to stop it. Cut it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them behaviors. Yeah. The kind of rotten behaviors. The kind of things come out. The kind of attitude come out. Those are the kinds that hinder me. Those are the kind that block me up. Those are the kind that sabotage me. The kind that, guess what? Using he to get it, using she. Using your body, using this, using that, using the other, using only one. There's the kind of things that we deal with some people. Let me tell you something. It's not the kind of people around me, but it's the kind of stinking behavior. It's the kind of attitude. It's the kind of ways that we got. Hey, God, to say this one to somebody. I still love you. You're mad at me, but I still love you. Yeah. The kind of foolishness, the kind of childishness, everything we're making a fun of and a grin of, everything, no seriousness, and the devil keep using it all the time as a rope around me. The kind of trickiness, the kind of dishonesty, the kind of nonsense that some of us doing. He highlighting the kind of things, the thing that you can can guard it. Eh? You can kind of come. Yeah. The kind of thing. I laughed at somebody the other day. Oh, um. <laughs> I'm waiting for here the ship. But the ship. You know, none of us there. Did you go trigger? The kind of strategies we just come up with that is not God. That needs to be put away. How many times in God, I like that this is not in this. We still hold on to the kind of way, the kind of behavior, the kind of attitude. Everybody owe we something. Yeah. Everybody just do we something. We don't do no wrong in this life. We hate everybody. There's a kind of behavior. We ain't do no wrong. We never talk no wrong. The, bo uh, the boss, the, every boss. We, 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 hey, hey, take them away, take them away. The kind of rotten behaviors, the kind of things we do as people, yeah, and we expect to prosper. 
We expect and he keep highlighting the kind, those kinds in our lives. Those kinds in our lives he keep highlighting. Because he don't want me to stay right there. But we ain't stopping. We think that that kind of way going to get me through. That kind of behavior you're going to get a husband. That kind of behavior. That kind of burying. That kind of digging. That kind going to prosper you. That kind going to make you win. That kind going to give you something. And that thing ain't doing nothing for you. And we running around. Running around. With we dirty mess in our own lives. And yet still, guess what? We think that we going to preach on the pot with that kind of behavior. With that kind of ways. We can get break through with that kind of thing. We can come through with that kind of thing. We ain't got nothing to get some of us. Nothing God can give some of us. Until we get rid of that kind. That he been highlighting in our lives. And speaking to we. We going to stay on the circus. We gossip the kind of way we got to gossip about everybody. The kind of way we got to tear down. We make it laugh. Everything is a fun. I hate people making the things of God a fun. The things of God ain't no joke, you know. The things of God ain't no joke. But we making it a joke when to be serious. The devil gonna keep ripping harvest at some of us. For those kind of things that God addressed in, in our lives, season after season. Yes, I understand that there gonna be some kind in people. Might be the kind of place that we go in. Might be the kind of people we hanging up with. Mm -hmm. But you know something, guess what? Sometimes we quickly get rid of the kind of the people and the kind of the places, right? We quickly get rid of, but guess what? The kind of the behavior, we don't want to get rid of that one. Come on this morning. Oh, we don't want to get rid of the kind of behavior. Ah, it's why I stayed. You want that be so. Come on. You want that be just so. If you want to get rid of it, because God didn't bring you so. God, you picked that up. Come on. It's so this family stay. There's the, there's all the three of come on. We don't we want to hold on all those kind of wrongdoing. We want to hold on the kind of behaviors. We want to hold on those kind of patterns and expect God to come to pick me up. Oh. You rebuke some people. You address some things with some people. You only talk something, but you turn the biggest enemy. You the worst thing. You the biggest enemy. Because guess what? That they're so comfortable in that kind of behavior. If it's not, if it's not about them, nobody else. They the boss. They the boss. They enlarged and in charge of mess. That's what they in charge. Lord and in charge of mess. That's what they're in charge of. Nothing else. And we run around and we jump. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Those kind got to go. God in highlighting the kind for me to hang in with it. God in highlighting that kind for me to stay dwelling with it. We quickly can get rid of the kind of the people. Oh, no, oh, yeah. We quickly move on the kind of the place. The kind of God I like those kinds. Or reveal unto me the kind, right? But guess what? We, we, we want to lose off on them kind of ways, behaviors, blaming, attacking. God is here this morning. We ought to know the kind we're dealing with. Let me tell you something. If the kind of thing behave, whatever you're dealing with, you don't know how to do it, God, the only goes to show you. God could help us. God could free us from that kind. The same kind of torturing, the same kind of hurting, the same kind of molesting. The young lady said, you see, she understands that she mouth get you into the trouble. <laughs> and I like her honesty. She said, I talk. I speak about them. Because blah, 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 blah. I did speak about them. Yeah, I did speak. You know what she said? I have nothing more to say. She cut it out. She stopped the gossiping. She cut it out. She said, I have nothing more to say. I have nothing more to say about that. 
I will no longer say those kind of things. I will no longer have those conversations. Right there and then, she cutting off from that kind of behavior, that kind of thing. Gossip is called, it's called no chit chat. They says chit chat. Gossiping about people, gossiping and gossiping and gossiping. Let me tell you something. That individual ready for deliverance, ready for breakthroughs, ready to fall. Because they admit, they admit their faults. Sit this one. When those kind of things move, when Elijah prayed, and brothers and sisters, good morning. When Elijah prayed, and he said, The God of Abraham and the God of Isaac, and he prayed. When those things leave and the fire come down and clean up and consume all the witches and all those things, but when the thing, when them kind of devils left, let me tell you, servant, I hear the song of abundance. And when those kind of things leave us, when we cut off from those kind, and nothing stopping, so we the highty tighty kind of way we got. Uh -huh. We look down on people. And you can't tell me because people can tell you that that's how the f you make them feel. You can't tell me that you don't know because people can tell you. And they ain't going to be the first person people would have been telling you all the time. That's how you make me feel. You're better than me. That's how you make me feel. Me no trouble. I don't make lose no sleep. I had an encounter. Maybe now we do not get them. One young lady, she's supposed to be linking up with us ministry wise and thing. When she heard the kind of job I had, you know, the Holy Spirit said, You know why she has your job? She wants some comparison. She wants to, because she job is, is, is big and whatever it is, big recognition job. When she heard the kind of job that I am the supervisor for the janitorial department, the custodian department for the schools of the city. When she heard that, Holy Ghost said that's the last time we'll ever hear from her. And God don't lie. That's the last time. Like the delete, the black man, or whatever, that was the last time. I didn't waste, I never called back the number. Never called back the number. She wanted the kind of job that I have to compare to see if this is the kind of people she wants to link with. And sometimes we want to, we want this kind of we want to link with is the kind of people is a bag of mess. They have no spirit, they have no God, they have nothing going for them. But we want to link with the kind of the rich. Oh, this kind and like how, they, like how in churches have clicks. They have this click, the kind of click, the rich click, this one click and the click and the click. You can't come in and click come on. Yeah. Link up and she never responded. Can I love you? The time come when she she own self come and she cried and she said, God tell me to come and you gonna see what's humility come, come. And she cried. She said, I don't know what happened. I said, You know what happened? You know exactly what happened. You didn't want to deal with me kind because guess what? You tell yourself I broke. You tell yourself I did bad. You tell yourself that me like you, who got all whatever this you got going on there for you. So you tell yourself you didn't want to link with me. So don't be crying out for her. It's good that you could repent sometime. What are you crying out for? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Feel so bad that they just walked away and they said, shame, shame. And an upset came in and looked at me like if I got some shit on top of me. I was like, what's wrong with some people at all? Come in like I'm scorning me. You come to the house of God. Where God using me and I'm operating in my space and I'm kind of have that shit for me. Scorning me, looking down on me, having an attitude, no respect in the house, on the phone, he's like, get me out of this mess, my kids. Face nasty and dirty. I look and I can I just keep doing me, having fun in the Lord. I ain't all dressed like I'm a sweat and I'm running around having my time in the Lord because I know when I go for do my prayers, my warfare prayer, my successful prayer, me got time for time, heals and all of that. 
You only sleep on Sunday. The heel is kick off. I, I tell people, but you don't make a grand entrance. You go up to the door. All right, we see all looking on. Hmm? Kick the thing off before you hurt yourself. Kick it off before you hurt yourself. And I kick that off and I have it in my phone. Looked at me like I like 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 I like I'm feces. And then I like, you know what? But I didn't let her stop me. And I keep doing. And God go down and fix the kind of attitudes that they have. The nasty attitude. And even in the kingdom of God, ministers, this one pulling away. Because this one, you ain't ready yet, this one. This one, I understand that some of them, they're not pure. So guess what? You don't need to hang in if the man of God is not pure. And the woman of God, if they're not pure, oh, come on. But guess what? Just because, guess what? They believe that, guess what? The way you flow, it's not God. Once you flow in and it's God, go on. I, I don't care, come on. I don't care where you are, you come from. I don't care what you have. Once you flow in, and I know when a man flow in. I know when a woman flow in. I know when a people flow in. Yeah. And next thing here, oh, you don't hang with broke people. This is the next thing. You try that. There's not your kind of people for hang with you. God for understand that people broke, that people ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't hang with them. When they didn't have anything, they were hanging. But when they get now, they hang in. All right, come on. We don't know you are on you are you are know your status now. You don't hang with certain people. We don't you know you 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 the kind of friends anymore. Them friends in our husbands. <laughs> I ain't got no friends. <laughs> Ooh, them friends in our husbands. You ain't the kind of friends anymore. No, you're a married woman. You're a married man. You don't need them kind of friends anymore. And begin to cut up. Hey, you see me? You see some we? That's we that's we moving and going no place. That's when the body in Christ ain't taking up the shape, no miracles, no breakthroughs, no nothing is coming. Because of the kind of behaviors. The kind of behaviors. The kind of life we live in. The kind of lies we tell in. The kind of things we do in. And this is gonna keep going. All the time until we I understand yes that some play but we quickly could get pretty kind of people and if whatever what right but it's them kind of behaviors we got them kind of stinking rotten behaviors them kind of ungodly behaviors them kind of bitter behaviors them kind of vicious behaviors them kind of nasty ones them kinds got to go if now you get nothing to get come on if somebody if somebody reach up with myself to feel the woman feel the pain because she said that the, she took really think that always Jesus people, always these people in the Lord. They go. She this she tell this this person this. I was supposed to be a woman of God, and the woman of God go on back and tell somebody else. You know why I love about I why I love the person. The person said, let me tell you something. And this and this was, this person was acting nasty and bitter towards her. He said, let me tell you something. I did make mention of that. I did say it, and she even put in more. Which I did say it. I did make mention say it. That was not her place to do that. The woman saying that she's discomfort in this area with this individual. I am not happy with what they're doing. I'm discomfort. Oh. So why did this your place to do it? And then you're jumping up and laughing with people. People of God, them kind of behave, they're gonna get me no place. Tearing down the brother and tearing down the sister. Those kind of behave will get us no place. We'll sit down year after year in the same place. It is time we get rid of the kind. Those kind of things reveal unto us. Those personal kinds that with me come on. With me, with me, come on. Or we will never go, we can never grow. Yes, you do reveal the kind of people. Yes, you do reveal those kind of what happened with we today? What happened with we with those kind of things that we we are tracking the wrong kind? You're not tracking bad man. You're tracking thief man. You're not tracking the wrong kind of men, come on. People lost born. The wrong kind of men. I know me like you come this morning. 
Wrong can be attracting me because guess what? It's the bad man and the bad woman then you be. <laughs> It's for man, but there is some who come. Them they think only coming out to some we are tracking the wrong kind. Yeah, we are tracking the wrong kind. The anger we are tracking the man with four anger coming this morning. We are tracking the wrong kind. Yeah, we are tracking the lazy kind. Cause guess what? Them kind of lazy things, them lazy behavior inside of you. Come on. Oh, we are tracking those. God is right here this morning, and there's so much depths here. And there's so much things here this morning. We know exactly the talking to all of we, whether we like it or not. Well, if you like me, you curse me out and say, come on, you know this man, I can't deal with she. I gotta get out. I don't come Man, I know it's get called some name. It's that bitch I go on. You guys see when I write up this bitch, I just delete it. I, I'm delete and black. I know what I'm so people come this morning. I know you'll be cursed, but I'm not fool coming this morning. I can't take all this bitch talking this morning. This bad bitch, all kind of things is call me. But guess what? You don't, you don't, I don't lose no sleep. Because nothing that you say or speak against me get, gets to me. Because God got me. And he's covered in me. Not no plot, nothing, nothing, nothing. No condemnation, no nothing. Because guess what? I have a relationship with God. And let me tell you something. When I'm erring, he don't play with me. He put a licking and a half on me. And that's why I love the Lord. Father, this morning, good morning, people of God. Father, this morning, I give you praise and I give you thanks. I thank you this morning because you are Lord and God. I thank you this morning because there's no God like you and there is no other king like you. And what are you going to do? I got to just love you because this is not what I come to do. I didn't come to do that. But I come to do something here in the book of Matthew. And you shut it down because God, you want to talk to me. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. Father God, even look at me. There's any kind of behavior in Alexis Lewis that is not of you. Reveal it unto her. Reveal it unto her that she can cut it out and she can get ways and she can cut it out. And God, that she know. I, I'm not asking you, God, today any behavior inside of me to forgive me of it. No way. I am asking you to reveal it unto me that I can get delivered from it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Real love, Lord, please forgive me for this kind of behavior. We need deliverance of the behavior. Mm. God, any kind inside of me, it's not you, delivered me from it. Delivered me from it. Reveal it unto me and please deliver me. Please deliver me. Please deliver me. Please deliver me that I don't go on. Because I don't want to continue day after day living that kind of life, a kind of life of lie, a kind of life of dishonesty, a kind of life of jealousy, a kind of life of bitterness, a kind of life of fake, a kind of life of fault. I don't want to live like that, God. I don't want to live like that. But I want to live that life, God, where God, where you can use me, where your spirit is up in me and your power in me. I want to be able to make sense. I want to be able to encourage and motivate. And God, and if, if, if those kind of ugly things in me, I can can go and I can can encourage people. God reveal unto this woman any ugly kind of thing inside of her that's not of you. And also, Lord, please deliver me. God, if there's a kind that I miss, God, show it to me. A way, a pattern, Lord, show it to me. Because I want to walk right. I pray for every man and every woman here today that God, that Father God, that you would deliver be all. Deliver be all from every kind, behavior, pattern, lifestyle, things, thinking, mm -hmm. the kind of thinking, thinking we think, come on. Mm -hmm. Lord, deliver be all here today that God we no longer be that kind of a man. We no longer be that kind of a woman, but we'll be the kind that will give you praise. We'll be the kind of God, when you look down, you can say, wow, wow. A woman, I am well pleasing. A man, I am well pleasing. God, deliver us all this day in the name of Jesus. From every kind of dishonesty, from every kind of lies, from every kind of jealousy, from every kind that is not of God. That kind is not of God. This day, Father, you know them. There is some kind, will it really that God, that we don't even know about. But this is not your kind. 
It's not your kind of genuineness. It's not your kind of flow. It's not your kind of honesty. It's not your kind. It look like God, but it's not the kind of thing of God. This morning, Father, set we your people, we your sons and we your daughters free, that God, we will be the kind of people that make you happy, that you will smile, that you will be happy with. They said, hey, that's my people, that's my girl. Come on. We're going. Whenever you're looking for a man, or whenever you're looking for a woman, God, you can able to send me. We'll be the kind of woman that you can trust. We'll be the kind of man that you can trust. With silver, with gold, with people, with nations, with tongues and with things. We can see Jeff and I together, but Giza was not the kind to be trusted with. Giza was not the kind to be trusted. Dishonesty, lies, Say what the man of God said. God, this morning, every one of us today, search us, God. Let not those kind of things keep me back. Let not those kind of things be an endurance. Let, those, let, let not those be the kind of things that are sabotaged or hinder and broke. Let not those kinds no more operate in none of we. But God, today, deliver me from all them ugly kinds of devils that operate inside of me. Them devilish things, God. Deliver us all, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. You know it. You are aware of it. Because you're the one who identifies that this kind, this kind need prayer, this kind need fasting, this kind need authority. You know the different kinds. And God, some of those things, is those kind of things inside of us, Lord. And we need deliverance. We need deliverance. We need deliverance. This day, Father, delivered we. Deliver we. The kind of lost in spirit. The kind of lying spirit. The kind of messy spirit. Those kind of dirty things that's inside of us all, God. You know the kind, Lord God. You know every kind. And God, this morning, set us free today from every piece of those kind of things. There has been a hole in us. There has been an hindrance, Father, in the name of Jesus. For some of us, God, is the kind of people we associate ourselves with, God. And I pray that God, you deliver us from those kind of people. God, it might not be some of us have those kind of things, you know. But God, sometimes the kind of people we associate ourselves with. God, deliver me from those kind of people, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Might not be the kind of nonsense and kind of way, God. It might not be, might be, but God, it might be the kind of people... Might be the kind of place that we go in every day. Might be the kind of place we hang in. Might be the kind of place we invest in. Might be the kind of place, God, because something, God, the kind of place we invest in, bringing us into a drought, bring us into dry places, drying we up. We ain't getting no flow. We can't grow and we can't go. Might be the kind of the place. Might be the kind of the people. Might be the kind of thing that we do. Might be guess what? Might be the kind of family members we associated with. Might be the kind of thing we believe. Might be the kind of thing we are loving, God. You know all kinds this morning. And we thank you today, God, for this massive deliverance on all of us, God. We thank you for this massive deliverance that you bring in today. Father God, for some of us, we've got to separate from some of those kinds. People, thing, place, we've got to. You know, unless those things go, we'll never be able to fly, to jump, to enjoy life in you. We will never be able because God, you said above all things that you desire that we will prosper. We will never be able to prosper. We will still hang up on drifts and God, let this kind go that we prosper in every way, in every area, in every season, in every tongue, in every way. Some of us, God, we marriage because the kind of things around our marriage is not even getting to prosper. Our homes are not prospering. Our children are not prospering because the kind of things we are indulging with, the kind of things we are holding on. Our children didn't get into fly, they get into dance, they get into drive, they get into move because the kind of thing we the parents, some parents indulge with, the things they're burying, they're digging, they're planting, the kind of dishonesty, the kind of places they're taking the children to worship in, the kind of ministry the children are sitting under, this ministry with the idolatry, the ministry with the things. 
things is not of God. Father God, suddenly the boy don't even know he's a boy or he's a girl come on this morning because the kind of ministry, the nasty the homosexual spirit are running through the place. God, this morning, or we open the doors and a set of demons coming in and changing the chair and sex. God, this morning, we exposing them to God, this morning. We will never be able to preach the gospel unless those kind of things cut off of our lives, God. Lord God, we'll never be able to be locked in the church unless those things go. This morning, Father God, cut off those kind, cut off those kind of hindering me from prospering, cut off those kind of being a blockage, cut off those kind of that you said, oh God, anything we hands touch, we will prosper. But oh God, anything we hands do, do not mean prosper. It's more drama, drama, drama. God, this morning, oh Rabbi Koshiko, the the kind of way we treat people, the kind of way we treat, we treat people like God. Garbage. We want to speak to them anyhow. We want to disrespect the people. Them kind of behaviors and some of we got. Or we treat each other in the body of Christ. Or we treat the man of God. Or we treat the woman of God. Those kind of nasty things, God. And we tell ourselves, we are God this morning. Shut up. So we want some weapon, man. Come on. Lord God this morning. Wake me up from that kind of behavior. Wake me up from those kind of things. Wake Wake me up, God. Wake me up. Oh, I don't need she no more because I get through. I don't need he no more because there's something. Oh, God, the kind of excuses we are making to do the things of God. The kind of excuses, the kind of trickery, the kind of connery. God today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. You know them all. And this morning, Father. Mm. The kind of way we even treat you. We only come to you conveniently. That's not the kind of way to deal with you. The kind of way we live in as believers. We only when we foot break, then we know it like with a seven dark foot break, it no it muscle. Father, this morning, visit me all and delivered your people. Delivered us, your people, this day, Father, in no other name than the name of Jesus. We see this one doing well and we envy. This is the kind of thing that we expect to get. We can't get you this kind of thing. We are attacking. We are condemning. Those are not the kind of things you want inside of us. You make mention of the kind. Father today. Father today. Touch we all. And remove those kind of things out of us. Remove us from around those kind of things. Bring deliverance to us Father. In the name of Jesus. And yes, Lord, some of us, we ain't, we ain't even conscious of the kind of a wave. We're not even conscious. And I pray, God, you make it a wave. Because they didn't know what that was a kind of demon. And they didn't know the kind of demon at all. And what they had to do and what they didn't know. But you bring the awareness to it. Father, today, we want to thank you today. Because I know that you're here today, God. I know that you're here this day. And we say thank you. Somebody give God some praise this morning, man. Somebody worship him. He's nothing but good. He's a miraculous God. Oh yes, he's a miraculous God. It feels good. Oh, I feel good. And I know you feel good. It's like you just feel free. Mm -hmm. Like you just feel free. Free from baggages, free from things. Good morning. Good morning. Could I ask this morning to evangelize with me this morning by sharing the gospel, spreading the gospel? Can we all come on, evangelist? How oh, come on? Can you all share the page? Share the page, 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 share, the page, share, 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 subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come on this morning and share, share, share. Help me spread the gospel. Somebody wanna hear it. You, I read, you are right. Nothing wrong with you. You're Jesus. No problem, Jesus. You sit down. You good. But somebody, come on. Jesus was never a selfish man. Come on. He never kept the flow. He never kept the anointing. But he ran around in every nation, town, and city. And when he had the opportunity to, he ran around and be a blessing to them. Somebody here this morning don't know the Lord. Come get to know the Lord. Say, Heavenly Father, I ask you right now. To come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. So, dear God, where I make the mess, where I screwed up, wherever I light up, 
Wherever God I'm asking you God today to please forgive me and please deliver me. Please forgive me and please deliver me. And I can walk right and talk right and I can tell everybody that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross that I may get life and have life abundantly. And you too can get life. You too can have life. Yay! Lovely prayer. Nice prayer. God, you hear them. Please forgive and please deliver, Father. Every man and every woman this day. That God, I don't know you. And here they open up their mouth and they ask for deliver and forgive. Please do it for them, God. In no other name, but in the name of Jesus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Now get yourself a nice Bible. Read your word and spend time with God. And watch them. Watch them. Watch them fix you. Watch them deliver you. And watch them set you free. Like a bird. Yeah. Because he just delivered you. From all them things. And he's going to set you free. Father God I pray also God. To connect them to the right ministry. The right ministry. The ministry where you are. The ministry that God is ready for their personality. <laughs> I pray that God will connect them. If it's an online ministry or in-house ministry, I pray God will connect them in no other name but in the name of Jesus. I give you praise and thanks for doing it for every man and every woman that accepted into their life. Heavenly Father, this morning, please remember backsliders. Remember your sons and your daughters. God, they were all your children. Oh, they were your children. But God, they fall out. God, they fall out. God, they tumble out. <laughs> God, they're no longer in sync with you. Holy Ghost gone. No presence there. No spirit there. Holy Spirit there is the devil. Torturing and tormenting. You are a merciful God. And I ask of you, Father, today to please forgive every man and every woman this day that God that falls short with you and in a backsliding place. Please forgive and please deliver them from that, God. Please, God, this morning, remember them and restore and rekindle. For you are a merciful God. And I pray today that God, that a merciful God, I'll do it for them in no other name but in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. In heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Indeed, he's a mighty God. Indeed, he's a mighty God. And, and, and one of the things here this morning, it's like, there's a, it's, an, it's an awesome light I'm seeing. This is, it's, it's really a unique light, a beautiful light. It's like the light of Christ has just hit the people of God. You are right here. You are under this presence. And the light of God is just shining on you and in you. And this light will highlight. This light will reveal. Don't go beating up yourself coming. You got no kind coming this morning. Might be you got no kind of kind of operating you, but might be the kind of the people, might be the kind of places coming this morning. It might not be the kind of people, might not be the kind of place, not be the kind of the life you're on. But guess what? Some kind of kind of craziness inside of you coming this morning. The light of Christ is here, and one of the things he's doing, he's highlighting. He is literally he's highlighting. And this light that I'm seeing shining down on the people of God. Is to shine into those dark places, into those dark areas in us. Because God wants every part of us to be light up. You don't want half of we got light and quart we got light. It ain't gonna work, come on. And he ain't gonna come and the light ain't gonna be bright enough, come on this morning. So one of the things is see the light of Christ is there. And as you highlight those things, and as you get out of those things, and as you confess to those things, or as you ask them, you know, you know, so deliver me, and you talk with him with those things. He said, my light will come in and remain inside of you. He said that you can go out and be a light. Because you have been called to be the light. You have been called to be a light to shine in dark places. You have been called to light up wherever. You have been called to be the light in that family, the work, the job. Where you have been called to be the light. And my light is right there. And you are going to be brighter, said the Lord. You are going to be brighter in the environment. You're going to be brighter in the nation. So you are going to be brighter, said the Lord. Because I am putting my light back in you this day. 
Yes, I am delivering you from those kinds. I am delivering you from every peace. Hold on on it no more. Hold on on that no more. Hold on on them no more. Hold on it no more. Because I, your God, have come this day. Because I want you to prosper. I want you to triumph. And this is the time and the season. I want those words that I've telling you. I want those spoken words. I want those prophecies. Those, those dreams that I've given to you. I want you to walk in them. I want you to give birth because it's so long, it's just there. Nine months pass a long time. Ten months pass a long time. Nine years pass and ten years pass. And you have not got it yet to the Lord. But this the Lord have handpicked you because I want you to have it. I want you to be joyful. I want you to rejoice. I want you to have the husband. I want you to have the wife. I want you to travel. I want you to own. And I want you to accomplish. I want you to acquire. And, you, and, and somebody right there is going to keep asking, but why I'm not getting true? Why I'm not getting true? Go as I just talk to you. I just talk to you because they kind of the behavior. They kind of the secrets. They kind of the things. They kind of the secretedness. Those kind of things, God. So just talk to you. The Lord said, it's time you became the open book. The honest and the open book, said the Lord. And you being honest and open to the Lord is so it will follow. So honest blessings, so pure blessings is going to come. For I am here, said the God. I am here, said the Lord. I am here to light you up. I am here to bring life to you. I am bringing life in those departments. I am bringing life in those areas. I am bringing those dead things back to life. Because those kind has killed it. The kind of the attachment. The kind of the association. The kind of was dwelling in you, said the Lord. Bring death to those things. And I'm here today, said the Lord. And I'm here today to bring life back, said the Lord. To bring hope back again. To bring joy back again. To bring peace back again. To bring strength back again. I'm here, said the Lord. I'm here. And I'm giving it to you. For some of you, you would need a redeemer. And I'm going to plant the Moses in those areas. I'm going to give you the information. No, yes. I hear you saying, somebody said, no, I'm seeing the light is shining bright. Yes. Because those kind of attach themselves to you. Those kind of spirits. Those kind of things that have been attached to you, said the Lord. This day, the Lord, have destroyed him. I bring awareness to you. I bring knowledge to you. Those kind will no longer rust you. Those kind will no longer fail you. Those kind will no longer break you. Those kind will no longer hurt you. Those kind that you was dealing with, sir, Lord, will no longer. Because this day, I delivered you. I delivered you. Now bring you into the place of honesty and truth. And also, the Lord is saying that even though you in that room, you in that city, you in that environment that I placed. I've now bring you to, whether well, it's a physical place, environment, or you your own self come to that place of the Lord. No, said the Lord, my word will still be the same. No weapon form against you going to prosper. That the enemy is going to come to tell you that you're losing. Because of the kind you separate from. The enemy is going to come and make a play. The enemy is going to come and lie. The enemy is going to come to corrupt you. The Lord said to tell you today, I will stand with you. I will shield you. I will cover you. And I will hide you. Those kind behind you now, said the Lord, in my kind of blessings in prosperity, and favor will come your way. I will cause you to walk in it. I will cause you to walk through it. I will cause you to have it. Said the Lord. This day. I hear you. I see you. Somebody start crying so hard this morning. Because the presence of the Lord. Literally. Move in. Something they were compromising with. 
or some kind of thing that they think that they, something you were dealing with in your head. Somebody else sneezing like they're crazy. God is setting you free today. And he's bringing the peace. You're well aware of the kind. God is now bringing you the peace more than ever than before. And I'm ashamed. I don't know what get over you, Fidel. I don't know what was getting over you. Some cloud. Some cloud was over you. But a cloud has passed. And the light is here. And that cloud was over you there, was really fretting you, getting you in your nerve and like, oh, questioning and your thoughts and all kind of things and see what's going on there for them. But God will tell you that the cloud passed. The cloud passed. That cloud passed. That cloud gone. Push up. Come on. Because the cloud passed. Ah, that was she ended. Rasi the cloud pass, they have strength. The cloud pass, I'm giving you strength. The cloud pass, Fidel, and you've got my strength. Stand up with the strength. Go in the strength. Mighty warrior. You got the strength of the Lord. Because that cloud pass. Then what was the cloud? Abashi and the hardship. Dryness, stop, not frustration. But the cloud passed, said the Lord. It passed. And it gone. Shanda Baboshi Kida Boshi. Ah, Rabijan. Alasan Kanel. I hear God say, You will never see that. You will never see that. Others see that. But you won't see that. You like us a boosty for closure? You know, some, let's see. <laughs> something with a property. Something with some estate. Or something with a bill. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what it looks like. But raise your head again. Raise your head again. God said, you will never see that. You will never see that. Keep your roots in me. You will never see that. Oh, don't slack on the ride. Don't slack on the ride. With your holiness and your righteousness. Oh, things come wrong for slack on it. Don't slack on it. Because the enemy is making a pitch for you to see it. But God said, you ain't going to see it. Tighten. You know what a woman said? Tell her husband. Send me a young lady. And she tell you don't stop. Don't slack me. You just keep me. Don't do it. And I will make your home a happy place, said Lord. I'm going to make your home, your dwelling, your environment a happy place. A really, really happy place. I'm going to make it a happy place, said the Lord. You deserve it. You just rub God wrong, you know. Come on. You just provoke the man. Come on. But he still say you deserve it. I'm going to make your home a happy place, said God. The enemy pushing you on a lane. And God said, not on my watch. They're going to happen. Nothing will be taken away. And nothing will be lost. Oh, Rabbi Kayan. And stop saying, but stop. Let the devil tell you what you, you money challenges. Oh, please, you mean. Oh, Rashi, could it be in the East Ever Tay this morning? Connell, the silver and the gold belongs to who? It belongs to your father. It belongs to me. And you're a child of God. Somebody give God praise this morning. Ah, oh, Rashi, and the, I love the presence. I love the amazing presence. Shakwati, and the yanda. There's a stripping is happening here today. And there's a ripping is happening today. There's a pulling off. There's a breaking off of every kind that is not of God. Every kind that is not of God. Don't hold it. Don't hold on it. <laughs> oh, 
because she's a terrible shield. If you hold on to it, it's going to bring destruction to the camp. If you keep it, you're going to bring destruction. You know, yesterday during the day, I was spending some time in my word. Spending some time and I was reading something with the Benjamin Knight. Where they hold on on wicked men. And as Esther hears, because the hold on on wicked men, destruction come to them. They hold on on those wicked men that, that, that you know, that wanted to sleep with a man and, and, and rape the woman, the man concubine, and destroy her and things like that. They hold on on that on the wicked men, the Benjaminites. And look the trouble that come to them. And I want to be disrespectful to the Israelites, to the well, come on. You know, the Israelites built up the 12 tribes, right? They wanted to be disrespectful to the other tribes that they live in. And they hold on on wicked men. Wicked men that will do nothing good for them. Will just bring more wickedness and more wickedness and more wickedness. And the Lord dealt with them. They get the licking. Thousands of them fall and shackle them. The God today gets what? Come on. Because that kind of wickedness have no place in the kingdom. That kind of wickedness have no place. People said these people got to, they got to get rid of because they're going to bring this grace. Don't hold on on it this morning, somebody. That kind got to go. That kind got to go. This is your time. This is your, they coming this morning. And God is just visiting me coming because he want me to prosper. He want me to shine. He want me to triumph. Oh, my God, this morning. Oh, you feel as though you're marking time, right? Melanie Austin, you feel as though you're mark, marking time. I feel like you feel it. You feel like you do one thing. You one thing. You want it. No. But all the Lord just got you in a place to just gather in strength. He just got you gathering strength and in, in, in doesn't matter if you feel how you feeling and, and, and you can tell God them feelings don't come in this morning. Doesn't matter how you feeling and don't let the devil come with bringing no feelings to you. Feel like you're in a one place, like you know, man is the same place, it's the same thing, and the same thing. Come on. God got you in that place for eyes to open, ears to open, spirit to open more like never done before. Mm hmm God got God is transforming even the way you speak, your language, every single thing. You approach every single thing. And when you finish like Joseph, then you are going to get out of it. And you can dance, 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 and you can dance. Hey. Rest yourself, but you feel like you're in one place. Chillax yourself, but you're in one place. What one place are you in? You're living, you're breathing, God is there, you're hearing, you're talking, you're getting dreams. God in deaf ears, he's still talking to you. He's still telling you don't climb on the mountain before you grate your foot up. Come on, he's still telling you, come on. He's still showing you, but you still showing you fun, come on. It's like, but if you're the one place and that you're still hearing from God, you still have the flow, come on. Joseph was right there. He was in the one place, but he still was flying. He still had the power to interpret. He still had the power to sense, come on. And is that is the place where you and get your strength in. Is that the place of every kind of those ugly kinds that had you bound and held you and hold you up here and hold you up there? That is the place that God will stop you free from. I know you might not like the place. Hey, 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 hey. Melania, stay, let me tell you something. Joseph, they call it the dungeon. And I don't know what you call it the place. But that is the place that will bring you life. That is the place going to bring you strength. Because that is the place where you will learn to address devils. That is the place going to bring you spiritual boldness. Spiritual boldness. You're bold in that area, but not spiritual. You're going to bring you spiritual boldness. You're going to tell the snake it is a snake. You're going to tell the witch it is a witch. And let me tell you something also. In that place, it seems as though you're alone and there's no much people. You ain't got no much company. We want company for, for the go say, you say. Being alone sometimes is not a bad thing. You got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And he knows exactly what seasons to keep us in. When is the alone? When is not too much a crowd? Come on, this morning. Somebody worship your lover this morning. He's nothing else but a good, good, good God, and he's the amazing God. And because he's an amazing God, he will fix the things that we can't fix. Petal bonnet, petal bonnet, petal bonnet. Your faithfulness, your faithful, your faithfulness, your faithful, your faithfulness. 
Your faithfulness breaking the chains. Your faithfulness is unraveling. Your faithfulness remain being faithful. And you only get true, true faithfulness. It only work true faithfulness. It only happen with faithfulness. It only happen. You can get a bigger dance and get a bigger praise. It only happen through faithfulness. And your faithfulness has bring you this far. Continue in every chain. Every chain, every chain, every chain, every chain, every chain, whether by association, whether if you inherit them chains, do they come in because them and them, God don't give inheritance of bondage from this morning. He say your faithfulness, your faithfulness, as you continue to be faithful, it's your God, Petal Bunny. God can do the extraordinary thing with you. And you will see it in your lifetime. Relax yourself, Olivia. Relax yourself. You will see the goodness of God in your lifetime. And the goodness will pass on and pass on and pass on. You will see it, said the Lord. Somebody give God praise. Somebody worship your lover. He's an awesome God. He's a miraculous God. He's a God of the Abraham. The God of the Isaac and the God of the Jacob, somebody just got a lot of I'm just seeing people's name in my spirit. Shakwat or Raboshian, Russian, Raboshian, like just some Russian there, just seeing people, Russian, and some of you can even never see, but I see your size, Russian, Raboshik, or the Yen, the Gia, the Yen, Raboshian, Gia, I'm trying to see that you got a lot of meat. <laughs> You got a lot of meat and in, 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 in people disrespect you with, with something going on there. They, they, they disrespect you. Yeah, I'm done. Let me tell you something this morning. Take this tissue this morning. I'm not giving my eyeglasses. Thing. Come on. Take a piece of tissue and dry your eyes. Because God said, dry your eyes. Your crying season is over. I am wiping away your tears with victories. I'm wiping away your tears with miracles. I'm wiping them away with, away with breakthroughs. They break you. Oh, oh. You know, you're like crying. Yee. You're gonna baby cry. Baby cry, 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 cry. Guess what? Doop. It dunk a bottle of feeding it, mom. Stop crying. Because I'm wiping away your pain and I'm moving them tears with miracles and victory. Rassi and the Follow the sun, is follow the light. They, you know, the children of Israel, Lady Hamilton, they had a, um, there was a light that was over them, right? And that light was a direction. They go where the light moved, the light go left, they go left, they go right. You follow that light, that light, that light that God is placing in your path. You follow that light. And, 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 and one of the things that see God is breaking poverty. Is breaking poverty, poverty, poverty mentality, poverty thinking, poverty, 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 poverty is going, poverty is leaving, poverty is getting out. He is destroying poverty. Arabo shika the yam that I got to go. Rosik in the double see in the double see in and at the end, you said that you said that was all. You said that there was all. No, he is breaking poverty. Shakwa pata basi and rasi and rabi and. Let me tell you something. People are gonna experience being ripped up, being damaged, and being hurt. That making fun off of you. People will experience the same thing when they make fun of Elijah. Some bears rip them apart. People will experience that, that making fun of you because God is playing shadow behind the, the light of Christ has come from you. Stay being faithful. Stay being faithful. And God will take care of your enemies better than you. Somebody worship him. If there's any, come on. Somebody worship him. He's a miraculous God. Hey, yeah. He's a good God. Eleanor. Who's that name? Eleanor. Eleanor. Whatever that name. Man. Your name's so long and hard. Shut up. Yes, I mean, I have a long, long name. Eleanor. I don't shut up. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. One of the things I'm seeing here. You know, you know that this is not the official plan, right? Please. I'm not the official plan. This, uh, don't throw no water on my plant. Let them be trying to throw water. 
as a child when I would throw water in the plant in the house, she said, you go to school and you learn something, and that wet plant, like an every artificial plant from the house, you throw water in them and bust up all the things, everything, all them things, and spell up the things. Man. Don't you worry. Let me tell you something, you like a plant. You like a plant, and in the middle of the things that see God, your plant was not flourishing, your plant leaves was not green, your plant leaves was not green enough. It wasn't green. But one of the things that see what God do, God uprooting. God uprooting you and putting you into fresh soil. Fresh soil. All you just gotta do is stay connected in that soil. Stay connected. Honesty, truth, and faithfulness and bravery. Thing. God uprooting you from everything day. <laughs> even if even if it Man, look okay, here, they, they just, just fretting me. You know, like some people look, this bed too small. This bed, this, this house, too, this, everything, everything. God uprooting you. And he's now bringing you into that place where the Bible makes mention. We shall be like a tree planted in the rivers of living water where the leaves going to remain green. Mm -hmm. God is uprooting you and bringing you into living water. Living water, living water. water the water got life. Mm -hmm. The water got power. The water got strength. Water come and shut up shit. You have see like, one of the things you use a fancy person. Like look nice, right? Like look fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh your fancy self. Look at you. Look at you all fancy. Mm -hmm. Everything different ain't right and miss put together, miss all fancy. Hey, mm -hmm. and it ain't fancy enough. Come on, this morning. It ain't fancy enough. Go as an uplift. If the thing they see your fancy, they gotta see you now. You did the thing to see your fancy. Um, come on. Mm, with an ease. God is bringing you into this fancy, some fancy, something with an ease. He said, For I'm uprooting you. I'm removing you. And I'm, see, God is shaking off, shaking off, shaking off, shaking off all the dirt from in that dead, that dead, and washing. And now He's planting you in a whole new place with Him. Give Him praise. Somebody worship God. Here I'm gone. I'm out here, God, praise coming this morning. I feel so I in the spirit. Rem this morning, you don't even know coming people of God. I feel alive and alive and alive and alive. alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vijali, when, when, when it's me time, though, mm, I wish it God, goodness, and I wish it God, and I wish it God. Let me tell you something. Start the wishing and the wishing answers and start stepping up with bonus, okay? Start the wishing and the wishing, the wishing, the wishing, the wishing, wishing foolishness and start stepping up with some boldness. Start stepping out and do. Start stepping out this morning. Come on this morning. And stop the wishing and 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 the wishing. Stop it this morning for your own good. And step and watch God. You must think. You must think. Step and say, step and do whatever it is there this morning because you're just wanting and wishing and wanting to come this morning. The man of being the place for thought. You change, you know, you're the one for what? Come on. And even Jesus asked the now. He said, get up. Get up! I so said, just get up, come on this morning and watch the Lord. Good morning, people of God, and happy what day today is, what day again? I just forget, come on. Ryan, today is what day again? Oh, Monday? Happy Monday. Oh, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday! Who's I, who's I forget? I say I forget, come on. <laughs> and what left my shoes, come on. It was that big. What was answer back yourself? I'm a little crazy, but I don't think I'm all that crazy, right? Happy Tuesday, people of God, and please don't forget to share the page. Subscribe. Feel free to like. Feel free to follow. Do it. If you're comfortable and then watch the Lord, stay sweet in the Lord. Somebody worship God. It is your time and your moment and your season. You know that Shannon Smith? Shannon Smith is a song like that. It's my time and it's my moment. <laughs> it's my time and it's my moment. Mm -hmm. It's my time and my moment. Go Google the song and listen it, Shannon Smith, and see if you like it. And see if it making any sense to you. It, literally, this song is this is song where you listen to that same song, Shannon Smith. It's like, it's like God just prophesying to you what time it is. Go Google it. Type it in. It's my time. It's my moment. Something like that. Go find it on YouTube. And you listen to those very words. It's going to be a tremendous blessing to you. Somebody give God. Please come this morning. 
Haraba she Haraba she and um you see favor me child is like <laughs> I don't know some it's, it's like some communication it's like some some kind come on it's like some kind and some like some communication whoever this favor Mitchell it's been a hindrance there the kind the connection and sometimes when you set yourself that this mass time to fly something come and just throw the fish back overboard throw back the clip the wing and now the wing go back again there's something there with the chemi the chemi the connection something with the connection father i pray god this day that you'd open the eyes whoever this favor mitchell and bring them out to that place there you look around everything feels so dry it looks so dry and still like the water still mm. lord i pray for the intervention i pray for the intervention for favor mitchell I pray for the intervention of God for favor, Mitchell. I know that's not your name. Favor, Mitchell, need an intervention. And I'm asking you, God, to bring the end of the drought. Bring the end of the dry season. Bring the end of that season. You are a merciful God. Merciful God remembered this favor, Mitchell. Remember and move your hand and bring the end of that. Bring the end of that. Bring the end of that, Father, in no other name but in the name of Jesus, that that will come to an end. Mighty God. In some speaking of people talking and some motor guitar uh, this guitar the motor and them some of them responsible for the drought some of them responsible for the rain not pouring i ask you god today to remember favor mitchell and give them the wings back to fly out of that and from their god in the name of jesus and i speak life over you this day in no other name but in the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. In heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes. Yeah. Since Joseph just re resist that. Resist it. God, no full, you know, there's, there's, some, there's some desire there. <laughs> Since Joseph. Some desire that you really, really desire. Some kind of encounter you want. Some taste you want. Something. You won't get it, said God. Be patient. You're going to get it. I'm going to speak it to the heart. I'm going to speak to the heart. I'm going to speak to the heart. Whether it's the heart is responsible or a person, whatever. You will get it. You will come your way. You will get it. You will testify the goodness of God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. And that's it. God want you to. God want you to say it. You, Joanna Paul, and your husband hold hand and say that same. With the awesomeness and the goodness of God, that you'd open up your mouth and said, "What a mighty God, He is. What a mighty God He is. You, you experiencing the mighty hands of God, and you know." That you know it's God because you never experienced it, one. And also, you didn't raise to know him like that or know God that way. And now, you like 
like the woman of the well. I am not saying in terms of being a prostitute, so don't run around and say, I call you that. Come on, please. You like the woman of the well who have a message. Because the encounter with the Lord. The woman that get when she get encountered, Joanna, you know, in, the, she let everybody know. It's like you want everybody in the block know. And let me tell you something. You are one that is not ashamed of the gospel. You are not ashamed of God. And that's why things don't work for you. Because now that you come in and you understand, whatever the shame be, the dying it going. You are not ashamed because the miracles and the and, God, and you are one that God got to break the miracles. You are some people, some people gotta have miracles to have the assurance with God and things like that. And the miracles make you no longer, even if shame was in there, them things die. And you want everybody for new. You want Auntie Babzi, Wanzi, Tunzi, Lindsay, Kunzi, Manzi, Kanzi, Kanzi, Bunzi, blah, blah, blah. Everybody you want to know about him. It's not a bad thing. And that's where God will give you a platform that everybody gonna know. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Even the Lord adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Let me be a hand this morning, Mary Hoyt. You will blossom. You will blossom. It will blossom. It's blossoming. The storm is over. You're going to blossom. The trees are getting green back again. The leaves are budding out. The fruits are coming back again. You will flourish. You are going to flourish. You will flourish with your peace. You will flourish with your joy. You will flourish with happiness. You are going to flourish. The trees are getting green again. Look around. The leaves are coming back. Fruits can start bearing again. It's going to be alright. Said the Lord. Lady Hoyt. Be encouraged. Happy Tuesday. See you guys tomorrow morning. Right back here. And we can get some fun. Stay loving the Lord. Stay connected. Stay in path. He's a sweet girl. Bye for now. See you later. Tomorrow morning. Same time. Same place. Share the live. Share this live. And encourage your friends. Somebody said they're not getting on. Somebody's struggling. Tell them. Refollow the page again. Probably is the net acting up. God bless you. Enough love. Stay sweet in God. Enough love. The love is still on the same. You can holler at me. And don't forget, I didn't send you no friend request. All late last night. And you match your church. Send me him, Esther. This is strange. Tell the people it's not me. I didn't send you no friend request. I didn't ask you for no money. I didn't send no bank account. And I didn't ask you for no money. I don't I ain't got no orphanage. I can't even mind the hard mode when I got in the house then. Who wake me up, who got me up this morning way before my time. Looking for something, whatever this concern me. I can't even think. I can't. My son wants to bring a dog and I tell him you know. I don't even want the dog to come in. One wants a dog, one wants a cat. They don't want to fight in the house every single day. Dog and cat don't like each other. One wants a cat and one wants a dog. So guess what? The dog ain't coming in and the cat ain't coming in. Now you see he wants a parrot. Now he wants a parrot to come to curse me out all in my home. Mm -hmm. Because I'm part like the curse. Nothing there. Come on. Well, I don't know where else, no else but he wants. Come on. <laughs> All I want in there is Jesus. Come on. <laughs> I don't have an orphanage, people. I have never been to Africa. God didn't release me yet to go to those places. And whenever I go, probably for some vacation, if I ever go. I have no desire. It's not on the rate, it's not on the bucket list for me. Not me. Not me. I ain't got an orphanage. 
I didn't have to, to send no money for building no orphanage. I am building no orphanage. I can't feed myself. Why would I go? I know some people don't like to punish them alone. They like to pick up things to punish. Like how my son wants for bringing a dog. I'm bringing a cat. But none of them have no proper salary. One day they get one. And one ain't got none. You're going to figure out to feed he. And to feed the dog. And to feed the cat. Did you last time the dog come over? The piece of chicken I buy, you know, I buy a chicken for pinch, pinch, get me never go give it off then. And I pinch a piece, I buy a little chicken and Costco for five dollars. You know, Costco a little chicken and a little thing. And you can slice off and eat it when you want and slice off. Mommy give me half the chicken for giddy dog. Oh God, oh, oh. There's advantage now. Oh man, oh, oh. What's you go say we want this morning? Come on. Oh, there's not a, this full advantage. I know passes um thing on side with me, come on. You're gonna side with me this morning, Pilgrim. Oh, for once you don't side with me. Pilgrim, you're gonna side with me this morning. Alright, good, I'll catch you later. Oh. Oh man, there's advantage. There's advantage to the highest. Mommy, the, um, the dog run run around, he hungry, you see go the and drink in the water. Oh Jesus. Give a bottle of water. Why you gonna drink? Oh Lord have mercy. Mommy give you you gonna eat all the chicken. Mommy chicken get this tail. You don't know it like it doesn't care when you go in the microphone and come back fresh. Come on. Mm -mm. Give the dog off, mommy got baby so liquor chicken down for the dog, get liquor with the mommy. Oh Jesus Christ, man. Oh Lord. You see, nobody wants everybody have y'all agree with them, so I got me. me. I thought I had a friend or two. I let her down. I'm going to see. I shut my mouth and uh, yeah, everybody win. Come on. There's advantage for me, man. Come on, man, this morning. That, you don't think there's unfairness? Then got one friend? Oh, God. Not even one, but the same for truth, Pastor. You know, I thought I had a friend. You know, my best friend. I tell you, don't tell my best friend for me. I she just put a smile and she say nothing. She said nothing. You petal. Same you petal, Douglas. I thought you was my friend, you know. I'll get you a little bit. You, you know, you ain't even saying. You, you know what you're saying? I ain't saying, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> you like what he passes and said, me? I ain't telling no truth and I ain't telling no lie. Yeah, you can put in no problem. I'm gonna take the one. Come on. I ain't telling no truth and I ain't telling no lie. Jesus Lord. Oh, yeah. Because I said, oh, kill it down. Kill it down a piece now. Give it down a piece chicken. Kill it down a piece. Oh, Alexis. Oh, oh, Pastor. You're a woman of God. I hear all of them things you're saying. She too licorice. Why she can't get it out of a piece of chicken? A little piece can kill she. Oh God. That she's supposed to be a God woman. You know, it's, it's animal. You don't treat animals bad. You know all of them things you're going to hear, right? Come on. <laughs> you see? No, come on. Come on. Who oh, are you the best one? Mom. Son of the dog. Just the dog. Was supposed to be going and getting the bath wherever. Mom. The dog have to be in the house here. That's <laughs> what. The dog live here. For only body shower here is where the postman is bringing meals to. And I already put on the doors of the people who live here temporary. I want you out. Out. Temporary. I'm waiting for you to move. I go. The dog have to be because the, the price going up. $100 they want to be this dog. I t they tell me for the five. And now when I go back, I tell him to shampoo he. And they ain't shampoo he good. I am bringing the dog to bed in the bathtub. I said, what kind of trouble is this? Me and dog bed in the bathtub now. Me and dog bed in the bathtub. <laughs> you see the things he's going to do with it? Me and the dog bed. Your responsibility become my own. Me and the dog bed in the bathtub. Then the one will do, 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 do one eat something in it. It's like, Ah, uh, but I can't understand that. We are speaking to baby dog and the mother, and the, oh, he lived there. It's like, you know what? I'm going to send the dog to your house. Come on. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, all you said. But at least you know, if you want to smell nasty in the house, they did. And then guess what? If I put you outside the yard for baby neighbor, I said, she's a cool woman. The place is cold. Because look, Flossy. Busty, you're busty. Cool, what would be there? You know, like, well, I fish the towel. She's a wicked woman. The dog will get cold. Why the dog can't be inside? He can say, Mommy, you want to be the dog? I said, She's going to be the dog. I said, You're there. Eh? 
When I'm giving them kind of trouble. Mommy, tell me where the dog is. The neighbor said, Mom, come on. Hello? Hello? Why the dog is being outside here? Mommy said, Don't make the dog finish your bag. Trimmy, don't come inside this house, sir. Don't make the dog into the shells. I gone, right? Have a great day. I left you out with the one for the day. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no orphanage, okay? And I didn't send for no money. Please, for heaven, God's sake. Please, don't get caught up in the super coming in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Sandy, you can come by you for you, me. <laughs> Have a great day. God bless you all. Much love, much love, much love. <laughs> Stay sweet. Oh, Shami, you got one? All right, okay. I'm bringing you one by you. Stay sweet in the Lord. God bless you all. <laughs>